Hey everybody, uh, I'm Tanya, I'm your DM. Welcome to our game uh, where we're going to have shenanigans and a very, very gay old time while we raise money for It t It Gets Better. Uh, I've got a couple announcements to make and everyone's going to announce themselves. And then we're going to live our gayest, most Ocean Eleven lives ever for the next <laughs> three hours. So uh, this one shot is part of Gaming Magazine's DigiPride campaign presented by Xbox, sponsored by 2K. Ally, Arcade Spirits, Devolver Digital, and Wizards of the Coast. There's still time to enter various DigiPride competitions, including a very exciting one from Wizards with D&D &D and Magic the Gathering. Prizes up for grabs, head to gamingmag.com slash competitions to enter. And now that we have done our influencer duty for this, <laughs> um, we will talk about who's here with me to play some wild D&D. &D. And I keep looking up like I'm at home, and that is not, I'm not at home, and it's not the right camera. Uh, but I'm going to go in the order I see everyone on stream. So we're going to start with Eugenio and go around. Who are you, and what are you playing today? Oh, I have no idea. Hi, everybody. Uh, <laughs> I'm Eugenio. I'm DM Jazzy Hands. Um, and I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons today, and the Ooh. character that I will be playing mm, is Zenafia Silveranth. That's her name. She is a uh, she. I wow. So the channel was unmuted on my computer, and I just heard my own voice, and it was awful. Um, she is a uh, Hexblade warlock, uh, half Drow, who has uh, bounced around from plane to plane, level to level. Uh, I think was last seen chasing down an infernal goose with some of the folks here, uh, mm. and now is back for the heist. All right, uh, Misty. Wow, I thought you were going the other way. Hi, I'm Misty. Imperial. No. I, I love know. that the caption got your oh tit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you gotta be that careful. Insane, right? Well, we said Tanya said we could swear, so oh well, yeah, yeah. That here we fucking go. So I my name is Misty Imperial. Uh, I am playing a tiefling um sorcerer. Uh, because I never play magic users. So let's go. Named yeah. uh Zephry. So I think you know, you and I were just named by the same person. I like yeah, yes. I'm here for it. <laughs> Zephry and Zenafia. Yep. We're twinsies. Are they both uh, X's? Yeah. Well, mine is. <laughs> oh, oh yours, no, yours is oh. a D. Oh no, mine's oh, not. It's gonna get confusing now. It's a T. Wait, this way. <laughs> oh no. Well. For more shenanigans, stay tuned for three hours. Uh, confetti. Hi, everyone. I'm a Lady Confetti. I am playing Imani, who is an Astro Elf cleric. And I'm very nervous. So, I well, like why? <laughs> <laughs> we got I am also playing the Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Good. Oh, goodness. Brian, you're up. Hi, uh, I am Brian, also Urban Bohemian. I am apparently also playing Dungeons and Dragons, and it feels very okay. weird not to be next to Eugenio in an overlay. It's very strange. Like, yeah, I just hi. You're next to me now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she, claimed she claimed that shit immediately. Like, ah. um, I will be playing Sylvester, who is a College of Lore bard and fabulous. Bronze. <laughs> Hi, hello. I'm that bronze girl. I'm sitting next to Urban Bohemian. Um, <laughs> I, I gotta go. <laughs> uh, also, I'm playing Vampire the Masquerade. What? I'm playing. Wow, that, was a that explains all the D10s in front that of me. Oh my god. Um, yeah, she's really strong. Oh, seriously though, I'm playing <laughs> Barrel, who's a thick as fuck half orc barbarian go on yeah she's thicker than a bowl of oatmeal and when she swings her ass axe and her ass well, you said what you said I know. yeah yeah so, <laughs> i've never played her at level 10 before so it should be fun she's a queer icon speak queer icons xander Hello, I'm Xander John, right? <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> and I'm next to Bronze. Uh, no, I'm playing a, a party mate of Barrel the Brutal, Ricky Huckster. We've gone on a few adventures together. Um, but Ricky Huckster's the tinker of tinctures, the peddler of potions, the enabler of elixirs, a uh, little alchemist druid uh, gnome who uh, is uh, sort of a showman. And um, you better just drink whatever he gives you. 
<laughs> Sign me up. I'm down. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. I have no notes. <laughs> I, you know what? We're already off the rails. So let's... <laughs> there were rails. <laughs> There were, they were very flimsy, non-OSHA mm. compliant rails, uh-huh. <laughs> and they're already gone. So, but I love it because I get to play with my friends and raise money. Um, hopefully we get our command soon on how to donate for for this shenaniganry today. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yay, because I was looking for it. Thank you. Awesome. So if you have some spare money, you could give that spare money Two, it gets better and also reward us for our shenaniganry today. We haven't even really got started. Yeah. So, are you all ready for some D&D, maybe some vampire? I don't know. I've got a bunch <laughs> of gems, too. <laughs> Dungeons I, what, and we just switched, Like, What is the charity donation to make us switch systems? What is that? <laughs> Ooh. Like, <laughs> Ooh. That's a good one. I should down. not have said those words out loud. I am so sorry. Five hundred dollars. <laughs> oh, absolutely not. I was going to say double. No, double that. No, at a least double. two thousand dollars. There it is. So, yeah. if someone does that, you're taking over because I have nothing to run vampire with me. <laughs> I'll throw it over. Run, to, I'm gonna throw it to bronze. I'll run D and D. Tell everybody it's vampire. No one's gonna know. Yeah, no one's yeah. read that White Wolf book. We will Except literally we'll theater maybe. of the mind the entire thing, including the book? rule book. There it is. You know what's queerer than vampires? It's true. Werewolves. Yeah. Touche. Touche. No. I'm sorry. Okay. You're no. Wrong. I. No, you're wrong. The Fae, though. You are correct. Um, <laughs> are you all ready? Demons, though. Yes. 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 Oh, Let's sorry, go yes. on a heist. <laughs> sorry, yes. That's okay. I. You know what? I just. I'm overjoyed. I get to finally sit at a table with all of you, and this is yes. the chaos I expected. <laughs> so all of your characters have, you know, been adventuring together. They actually just had another successful adventure, and as part of that reward, you were invited to this casino, and you have to get there by boat, and you are headed to Isla Fortuna. Uh, Mm. I'm not going to anyone roll for history, because none of you know where this is, because I didn't share the adventure with you. Uh, Uh, Mysteries, let's go. It sounds expensive, though. I'm in. It is expensive, but since you're the prevailing heroes, your trip is free and all expenses paid. Oh, I do love that, yeah. I'm sorry, could you just say that one more time? Right. (laughs) <laughs> well, hold on, though, because we have to ask, what are the deliverables you're expecting from us, though? Ooh. It doesn't matter. It's is all your expenses supervisor, paid, okay? I'm and sorry. Does, is your this supervisor getting... happen to be a na- man named Tom Nook? Because <laughs> <laughs> are we getting paid in tuna? Because I definitely like fish. She can eat her weight in a tuna. No, it's better than tuna. It's gold. And you can buy as all the tuna you want. This is true. But shouldn't it be called Isla for Golda then? Oh, no. You know what? <laughs> I love you got girl. me there. I'm going let, I'm, I'm to let you have that because that was actually pretty good. <laughs> You know, it's like Beryl like looks a little green and un- greener under the gills than usual, and Uh-oh. she's like very seasick. <laughs> oh, oh no. no! I've got a oh. tablet for that, Beryl, if you'd like. It's from our friend Seamus. Last time I took one of your tablets, I grew wings and farted glitter. Oh, uh, that sure sounds amazing, though. Can I have one of those tablets? Yes. Please? Oh, absolutely. You have more yes. of them. <laughs> As anybody, please feel free. Uh, and these are a booster that that Ricky has for a constitution check. Oh. If it comes up. <laughs> All <Literally. right. laughs> is that the right. actual effect or is that the side effect, though? Because I really want to <laughs> the, the glitter. Yeah. Oh, that was a different time. <laughs> <laughs> a different level altogether. No. <laughs> so well, this is now turned into a pride party 101 with... <laughs> With you dubious see. pills. It's a reward. Um, let's go. Um, so huh. what you have been told about the island is Isla Fortuna is one of the larger flaming isles. Hell and it's yeah. relatively flat. <laughs> and covering its entire surface is a gigantic casino <gasps> with dozens of ways to gamble, hundreds of hotel rooms. It's estimated more than 100 people stay on the island full time. The casino does not have its own name. So people simply call it by the island's name, Isla Fortuna, which will get very confusing. So if you want to call it Isla Casino, that is A-OK as well. (laughs) Um, It is a short ride, but you do notice a character 
literally a character who is kind of staring at you all and wondering what you're up to. Do you go to notice this character or ignore them? I say, hey, my boobs are down here. <laughs> oh, darling, I'm not looking at your boobs. I don't I don't really slide that way. Oh, fair enough. I mean, I'll I'll do it. Is there a spa at this casino? I'm just asking. <laughs> That's a great for, question. Right? Mm -hmm. Like well, I, before... I mean, I realize that we are a spectacle, but is there <laughs> something that we can help you with? <laughs> Well, you all are all enchanting and amusing, but... True. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> I was wondering, what brings you to Isla Fortuna? The casino. Uh, yes. I've heard the tuna is good. The, the tuna. <laughs> Damn. I'm here for the tuna. <laughs> um... Is yeah. that the kind of tuna you're looking for? I don't. Mm. What does that mean? Are there right? You know are there I, other kinds of tuna? You know, I, mm. you know, vacation and seeing the sights. Well, yeah. well. Before I give you any information, what are your names? Oh, oh, <laughs> right. Well, of course, I'm the peddler of potions, Ricky Huckster. Mm. You're welcome. It's their name. Mm. Well, I am, mm, go ahead. I, I am Zanafia Silver, and my friends call me Zan. You can call me Zanafia. Zanafia, I like that. And this uh, character is staring at both of you. Uh, my name's Beryl. Uh, not like the thing you store booze in, but like the shiny rocks. Oh, pretty. What? <laughs> And I am Imani. Oh, I like Imani. I don't have anything funny to Lady say. Lady, a few words. Yeah, no, I'm into that. <laughs> It'd be difficult to pronounce the act. Call me Sylvester. The other oh. one's probably probably too long to... It would take us a while. Hmm, I like things that are too long. Well, oh. I mean, I'm Zephry, and who are you? Uh, my name is Zan. Now, wait a minute. I know, it's a bit <laughs> confusing. <laughs> now I'm... Can, wait, so Any now, Isla Fortuna, Isla Fortuna, Zan, Zan. Oh, this is going to be fun. Mm. Yeah, don't... I Out of character, that literally is what's in the adventure. I'm so <laughs> It's great. That's okay. <laughs> Zan's literally having this reaction to it, so here we go. <laughs> Yeah, we like leaving names that are as said in the uh, uh, <laughs> in the adventure to use in the show, right? You <laughs> don't know what you mean. <laughs> oh, just that Vargas person we ran into before. Oh, I don't. Well, Zahn, it seems like you're some sort of welcoming committee for us. I'm sure that is the case. We are here, of course, for gold. Fun for and fun. And fun. And a spa if you have one, please. Ooh, a spa. And poker oh, if you have that. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, it's a casino. There's poker 24 oh, poker. hours a day. Oh, and Beryl wants tuna. <laughs> and some tuna. <laughs> and I think some Dramamine or equivalent. Mm. Just direct us to your local fish mongrel. <laughs> Ma it's okay. It's all right. Well, if it will make things easier, you can call me Fane. That's my surname. Well, that's Fane. better. Yeah, I prefer that. Yes. Uh, and Fane is actually a tiefling that is dressed, you know, kind of dressed down to be going to such a joyous, adventurous place. They're in a white shirt, a dark green vest, black pants, and they've got a long overcoat on, but it's kind of draped over their shoulder instead of them wearing it. Ooh. And you see them constantly kind of looking up. And eventually, as you all are talking, they just hold up an arm. And a small bird alights on their arm that's just kind of hanging out. Oh. I try to do it, too. <laughs> <laughs> like, just get a bird to show up for you? Yeah. I'm just going to look around. Like, are there a lot I mean, of it, birds around? It, or it was, did this bird just kind of, like, here? No, this is, <laughs> this is my bird. Oh. I thought maybe you... 
I mean, Ooh, though, but I'm honestly not mad at you for trying because I would love it if we all got are there I other birds? <laughs> like, I like this idea. Can, can, you, can we, like, can, can I, I put no. like, some breadcrumbs on my crackers? <laughs> on my head? Does this casino have maybe like an aviary? Maybe we can just go look at birds. Oh, is there a zoo? Ooh. No. Oh. Like a fish tank, an aquarium? Some of the casinos have fish tanks in the floor. Right. Ooh, Ooh fancy. That for you're a a, a tifi, and Zan's a a, a Zan's a t Fane's a tifing. Why can't you? Why don't you have a bird? I'm a tiefling. Oh wait, so I'll put my when when she says that since I'm a tiefling, I'm gonna put my arm up too. Like it must be a tifi thing because mine's not working. It never ceases to amaze me that the six of us have survived to tenth level. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get a pet bird. I mean, I think that's a fairly reasonable ask. Has nothing to do with my adventuring abilities. Honestly, I think we're all alive thanks to Imani for the most part. I, that's absolutely true. <laughs> do you know what? Oh, hi, Fane. I forgot about you. <laughs> well, that, that was the GM. It wasn't Fane, but okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Fane is looking at all of you, just going, so <laughs> is someone sponsoring your trip? Are you just... Oh, yeah. Yeah. We, yeah, we did something yep. good. And they said we could oh, hear their, yeah. you know. You're, you're you don't good. need to know the details, but you might. we might look familiar. We killed a lot of people for a really rich person. Oh, are we yeah, are his name is Tom Nook. Oh, I don't. I don't ask questions. I let you. I just let Daddy handle the bills. <laughs> I mean, that's a fair. Now we're here. Hello, I'm Daddy. A good thing. <laughs> oh, so you two are bunching Daddy. together then? <laughs> mm. uh, I won't say no. No, I mean it's fine. Anything to save some gold. Do you oh. need something, Fame? <laughs> I thought I did, but now I'm not so sure. That, you know what? That's absolutely fair enough. I've had that thought many times since I joined this crew. Mm. Oh, were what? you flirting? Oh, and okay. Fane looks, Fane looks at at him at back at himself like, "Are you asking me? Was I flirting?" <laughs> yes. Why? Will it get oh. me somewhere? Oh, 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 um. Can I offer you a potion? <laughs> oh, I don't need that kind of help. <laughs> uh, how I, long until we're here at the casino, I wonder? <laughs> I, I, with, with Zan, knowing that Fane is not interested in the creatures of the thick Meg the Stallion persuasion, and uh, I, I fall back with Zan, and I'm just like, he's really putting the wing in Wingman. He got you, the... I like you so much, Beryl. I do. <laughs> I really, really do. You know? I like you too. Oh, well, thanks. That's you sweet. You smell but... good. Oh. <laughs> I smell like the blood of the last man we killed. Oh, right. Okay. That's, yes, you're right. that's a good smell. smell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hard to achieve. Over here. Reminds me of home. <laughs> when? Uh, mm hmm. Um, mm hmm. Um, while how, long, how long is this ride on stage? <laughs> <laughs> this monorail sure does go. No, please. Wow, yeah. honestly. I was, I was just going to let you keep going. It is, it is literally a tour. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, is there um, anyone named Marianne at the end? Uh, I'm more of a ginger. <laughs> hey, I'll I mean, honestly, there. to Fine. each their own. Uh, really, I... <laughs> so... <laughs> So poor Fane is just, he's like feeding this bird and just listening to you all, just kind of like, I was trying to get their attention for something else. This was a bad, bad idea. Uh, and Fane is just letting you all prattle on. Yeah. And eventually you do, you do land. Everyone's escorted off the boat. You, everyone makes sure they have their luggage and their ticket. But you all do have some lovely pieces of black parchment with silver ink. Ooh. I carry everyone's luggage. Thank you, Barrow. Thank you. Yeah. Of, yes. I'm getting like a uh, like a Encanto, like Louisa with the donkey. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's the, that's the <laughs> Good. appropriate build. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. See, like, oh, I'm in for nice. this one hundred. I don't know uh, if it was wise to wear to carry the luggage of a bunch of gay men because I think yes. I've got, like thirty trunks, but <laughs> you know, I, I, I try just, to. Good luck. Given you, we wouldn't have given you more than you could handle, <laughs> unless asked. 
I was going to say, you don't know. Or just one Kent. You don't know. <laughs> um, I heard that cough. <laughs> um so as you get there i'm so sorry this is i'm enjoying the banter a little too much as the dm um so you you there's a path to get there and as you are walking this path to get to the very bright and gaudy casino think saints row um there is someone who jumps out at you oh greetings they, they, <laughs> they leap at me they don't leap out, but it's kind of like they do. I'm trying to think of a good allegory. You know, when you meet Gail in Baldur's Gate 3? Oh, like just, oh. Um, that really kind of I swing with one of Ricky Huckster's beautiful pattern trunks. Cool. <laughs> oh, no. uh, vintage one. <laughs> oh, no. So you, you swing at this person without knowing what they want. They like, startled us. Like st- out of startledness. This is why you invest in padding inside the cases. <laughs> oh, I've told, dear. I, I've told padding. you. It's ruined. Oh, <laughs> mending and it'll be fine. Um, so I'm going to roll for them to evade your swing. Oh, please. What is your un- <laughs> what is your unarmed attack DC? Um, uh, that's a really good question. Are your melee attack? Um, um well it was a 19 before any bonus oh, so yeah, no, it's probably it's probably higher um so they like jump out of the way like hey 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 do you normally just swing on people that you don't know do you normally, do you normally jump up? out at unsuspecting yeah. crews with this lovely person that is carrying all of the luggage of course she's going to swing you- i look i'm cheerful and peppy and i'm welcoming you to this island I don't. Well, well, thank you. Maybe bring the pep down. Yes, with a cheer, <laughs> down with the pep. How about that? Well, if wow. you're welcome. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. You just told me talk less, smile more. <laughs> you could smile less. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. She's not wrong. Do you have any? Is there any welcome drinks anywhere? Any? Uh, yes, there snacks? are. <laughs> um, but first, let me tell you who I am, so that I don't get you know assaulted. Sure again Fair. and we can uh, put the trunk down barrel put put it put it down please uh i'm to your room or... oh you yeah, well or put it back up i guess <laughs> uh i'm kilvari and i'm here to welcome you to isla fortuna and my have we got oh you you're adventurers aren't you oh could you what tell gave it away come on now actually well, the word we good? family we i'm actually <laughs> calling out from adventuring today Barrel. calling in a sick day I, you're just so sweet i um, like you so much and i don't know why and <laughs> and they just they do like the excited oh my god it's you oh my god it's you oh no is it really <laughs> you the heroes of passwall oh, oh you no. have heard of it oh, yeah. okay you heard so about that we have oh, been I hate that called name. that before but here we're just everyday folks so you don't need to treat us very special just a little just enough that we you know Unless it it's comes like with a, perks. Like a VIP oh, vacation. Is, let's yeah, call this a VIP vacation. <laughs> what was your name again? After I already forgot. Wonder. That's that's what I remember you telling me. Rick. No more, no more perks. perks. Yes, it's where there's special situations, Beryl. Yes. Oh, okay. Benefits. <laughs> Are there oh, benefits? benefits. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I misunderstood. I'm still learning the lingo. I think we should keep talking because I think we have lost our uh, dungeon. Oh. <laughs> I oh, thought. No. Okay. Oh God! Oh, no. it's Anders' turn. Oh. Look at the overlay. <laughs> well, hello. Okay, we, only teased, we only teased about this happening, I, and now it I actually. I do not has have happened, a good so. accent to do. <laughs> I oh legit, yeah, wait. Who am I? <laughs> I legit just thought Tanya was she, mad at my. Yeah. Jokes. I was I like, oh you. shit! I should not have made that joke. I'm gonna get in so much trouble. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So while we are while we are on a pause, I will remind everybody that you can get no, a link to no. donate. Yeah. Uh, donate by Perfect. doing yeah. exclamation point charity in chat. Welcome back. Almost. We also lost confetti. We also lost right. confetti. I think um, it was a Wi-Fi issue. Oh. Okay, we're back to three and one. Oh, there. right, there's four. Okay. A, a- oh, hold on. Oh. I'm Let's just gonna switch Wi-Fi networks because 
We've got okay, you. You can kind of... hear. Uh huh. Hey, look. Welcome back. Back. I'm back. Sorry. Um, even though I'm on the good Wi Fi, apparently I just dropped. We but I hear last... and see everyone we... now. We lost my lady confetti as well. Oh, no. Yeah. And it was uh, at but the I same have full, time, which I have is wild. full bars. Wild. <laughs> so sorry, y'all. No, it's okay. Just... Everyone's robot for me, and, and I thought my internet was okay. Yeah. Sorry, y'all. All oh, good. I, I closed the tab with the PDF I need, and I only see Eugenio. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Did we we lost confetti too. We did at the yeah. same time. Yeah, it was. Oh. It was actually quite weird. Yeah, yeah. All right. I um, just thought my joke didn't land. <laughs> <laughs> Your joke killed so yeah. hard. It, like, was it just amazing. killed. It just it bombed the call. That's that's yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> um, this is weird. The good Wi-Fi is worse than the inner than the free Wi-Fi in the hotel. Huh. Uh, I'm gonna try to get back away, and I will drop real quick. Okay. Alrighty. Um. um so yes, once again, donate. to remind folks that yes. we are yes, we are not just. I mean, look, we could like Kiki for like three hours. It's obvious Hello. that we could, <laughs> but we are also raising money uh, with Gaming Mag for it gets better. If you do exclamation point charity and chat, you will get a link to Tiltify, and we would love to see those donations come in, just as we have Milady Confetti coming in right now. Welcome back. Look at that. Hey. Sorry, I play Mortuary's assistance and made fun of all the ghosts and demons, and I think they want payback. Oh no! <laughs> wow. No. So honestly, sorry. Honestly, I love that for them. <laughs> I love that for them. Look. Okay, okay. Uh, we're back. So sorry, y'all. I switched to a different Wi-Fi network. Hopefully, Great. nothing else drops. And I think I just dropped off the call again. We're good. Oh, we're good. We're good. Sorry, no, we're okay. ready for you to continue. Yeah. Quiet. Yeah. Just re oh. remember, everyone, it's like no pauses, no dead air. Just keep yeah, talking. Yeah. <laughs> God. I was like, oh, God, I lost never know. everyone. <laughs> All right. Uh, back to shenanigans. I just only have my PDF open, so I can no longer see the chat. Um, All right. So before I fell off the call, I was, uh, well, Kilvari V was very excited to meet you all because they want to know, are you the heroes of Passwall? Mm, so you have heard of our deeds. Oh, God. Um, I can follow us everywhere. God, I hate that name. Mm, but it does seem like this is the reward that we were promised. Should we not take advantage of it? Oh, we absolutely. Did work hard. Yes. So to answer your question, yes. Mm. Indeed. Oh, excellent. Can I borrow you for a moment? I have refreshments. You can put all those. Wow, you're carrying everyone's luggage. <laughs> Better yeah, I, best. I work out. She's kind of a big, <laughs> kind of a big deal. Mm -hmm. um, and they notice they notice Fane as well. You, you can come too. And that um, they gesture oh, no. to. Oh, who, who? I don't. We don't. He, we just, do just sort of glommed on. You know, yeah, He's like not... honestly. Mm -hmm. Um, well, I mean, if you don't want Fane to come with you, I can't stop you, but... Well, I just no. wanted to know if we spilled some coattails or something that everyone... I, hello. Well, hope you're <laughs> enjoying the ride. I mean, Fane. whoever... Fine, wow. I guess. First he someone... takes my name, now he takes our credit. I mean, it's fine, come along. <laughs> you know? Listen, Fane, give me five gold, you can be my plus one. It's a lot of tuna. Five gold. Fane just kind of looks at you and is like, <laughs> digs digs in his coat. Really. Yes. I've got my own invite. Oh, oh. oh that makes the last okay. two and a half That's... minutes very awkward, but okay. <laughs> very, very awkward. It's fine. I yeah. do the classic thing that I would do as a very awkward person. <laughs> I just walk behind behind Zephyr and <laughs> the exchange didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> And and being of the awkward persuasion as well, I'm just kind of like providing as much cover as I can because I get it. Yes, totally get it. Cover. Right, exactly. Social cover. 
Fane is not bothered. They're, they're, he is unconcerned. He's just like, I admire that about you, but I'm, I'm good. I'm covered. Um, so Kilvari uh, leads you into their hut. Everyone can relax it down. There is refreshments and tea oh. as promised. Ooh. And uh, Kilvari you know, paces for a little bit and then finally goes, I can't believe you're finally here. I'm so, so sorry, but I'm going to need your help. Uh, I'm on vacation. Yeah. I told I took a, I took a personal day from time? adventuring. Yeah. <laughs> Is there overtime? Like, what's the pay scale? Uh, I mean, I too, I'm on vacation. I agree, but I'm, I'm, I'll entertain at least a, a like a fact sheet. We're into at least we're into at least time and a half double at this. Oh point. no no no! Oh, no, no, no. Just, this triple is, time, holiday this time. Is the vacation that we start at double, you know. And <laughs> if it's more than a four hour service, then it's triple. I don't want to, you know, just to be very clear. Um. Well, I don't have. So I've been saving to go to to seamstress college. Oh, don't make me sad for you. Stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> I can teach you seamstress stuff. Like, let's go on. What you don't um, have to what, save for that. What she what she means is that we don't need the we don't need the build up. We don't need the sob story. We just need to know what the details are. Mm. Just point it. <laughs> this is the nicer version of what I mean. Sure, we can go on with that. Yeah. Wow, you're nothing like the books. No, you'll find that sometimes when you meet people that you idolize. Yeah, and they're real I say people. never meet your heroes. We and then we are on vacation. We are not, you know, we're in leisure mode. Okay. We are. Uh, I'm in leisure mode. Mindset, sort of. Yeah, thing. no, I will take yeah. the one sheet. But let's, yeah. yeah. Um. So Kalvari, you know, as you're talking, they keep they 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 just kind of look at you all for a second. They go to a bookshelf and purposely pull the. Oh no. Past wall tales. Uh, no, that is oh, on no. the bookshelf. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> by V. Tethris, and they just toss it into the fire before they start. <laughs> yeah, well, that's in fair. A little bit hurt by that, but also I appreciate the style of that move. So okay, yeah, I know. Ooh. We're working. Look. I, I'm not in my work clothes, and when you turn around, you notice like Barrel has cracked open some of Ricky's luggage, and I'm wearing <laughs> one of Ricky's floral shirts. <laughs> Hey. half orc and ricky is a gnome so you can You're only stretching it out so on your arm. yeah it's like midriff bearing <laughs> thing oh oh barrow why? I, I will pay you for it uh, I, i'm here for this boy i could use a seamstress right about now <laughs> <laughs> so poor kilvari is is just well surely you've heard about everyone leaving the casino is a winner right <gasps> that's not how casinos work yeah how does that I don't think that, that math doesn't that's, make that's, sense and then they just kind of go ah you you see where i'm going ah. not at all <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're getting there i swear oh uh, we're so close so uh poor Kilvar is just I don't think the losers leave. <gasps> oh, wow. That's so much darker oh, than I thought. I was thinking. I just figured Holy that they gave me something hell. The door and, oh, gosh. That's dark. Okay. Keep going. Oh, um, you. You're either winner, winner, or chicken dinner. Oh, God. Oh, chicken? nobody, nobody order the chicken. I'll have the steak, please. <laughs> this is now Sweeney Todd. I apologize. Oh, it's people. <laughs> um, so Kilvari is just like, Chickens. Look, I will give you all of the money I have saved for school if you can find out what's happening in the casino. Well, for heaven's oh, sake, why are you paying us your school money? Make the casino. They have the money. They have money. It's what they do. Well, they no, can pay no, us. No, 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 I, I, no. I don't have good luck. I once gambled. It was very bad. I don't. Oh, no, no, no. I, sorry. I, you misunderstand. I mean, why do you have to pay us for helping the casino? Why isn't the casino mm. paying us? No, or you're helping you... me. You're helping the people that haven't come out did that have lost somebody that was close uh, to you. Personal. Yes. Thing. Like why? Why we need yeah. some motivation? 
It's an adventuring right. thing. Well, it really helps us get in the mood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so out of nowhere, oh. the hut gets dark. You hear very sad violin music. Oh, wow. Oh. Atmosphere. Okay. And as if this I was a musical, speaking. but I'm not going to sing. <laughs> Wait. Kilvari, are we in the room where it happens? <laughs> you are in the room where it happens. Uh, Kilvari starts weaving a tale of true love and her beloved wife that really wanted to buy them a dream home and decided to try the casino and took, took a hefty sum of gold but never came back <gasps> we can't let a lesbian die on my watch <laughs> I, i'm with you why was a lesbian on your never mind well they don't die <laughs> my watch has many different faces so <laughs> and it's her face o'clock let's go <laughs> so you'll help of course for the money. Oh, how can yeah, we say very no? Quick. I'm going to get that yes. in, but yes. <laughs> and we, we do have know one if question. you have enough for us. What? Yes. And, and, and Sylvester kind of indicated, did, Fane came with us, right? Yeah. Yeah, Fane did come in, yes. Sylvester indicates Fane uh, over the shoulder. What's he got to do with any of this? Mm. Oh, Fane is... is my friend and has been looking out for people to help with this and oh. when i oh. found out you were coming i was hoping i could talk to you and ask you to help me we got recruited we did not really mm. fain on a sidebar fain filled them in on how you just mm. were <laughs> on fain's encounter with you on the ship so uh -huh. oh yeah so saying, next time if you're a talent scout you need to say you're a talent scout the first <laughs> right. thing people, we're very happy. otherwise we're just going to be really shitty to you <laughs> to be fair fame couldn't get a word in edgewise that's true it's fair that's fame and try harder try harder <laughs> try harder thank you thank you <laughs> um <laughs> and and uh but they do look over at barrel i could make that like work better for you free of charge if you really like that style I feel oh. like I'm working it. Yeah, no, absolutely never changing. I agree, I'm completely so sorry, working Ricky. it. I'm yeah. so sorry. No, I disagree. It's this is what well, this is a crime. I That's will mine. buy you, Ricky. I will buy you a new one. I feel like Please, crop I'm loving this. Are in? So. You're yeah. Barrel is eating never. right now. Please. There are no crumbs left. I have to no say. No crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> I will get you a new shirt. Just allow Thank this you. to continue. Okay. I mean, to be fair, Kilvari is not opposed to giving Beryl a very sultry look. Look, her wife's missing and it's been uh, a minute. So, uh, well, I'm just saying it's, it's speaking of these clothes, since we are going into this casino, I suppose we do need to change into something a little more appropriate. We are going undercover after all. I want a gold sarong. OK, so I get my shirt back. A gold sarong, please. One, please. What? I'll just yell to uh, just Who are you yelling orders? at? Who are you? What is happening now? <laughs> We're in it's a place. They're trying. It may be. They're the maybe, right. Can we can just ask for the they're supposed to serve us. And I'm asking for a gold sarong. Maybe I'll the... I want the I want the leg to stick out and I want it to be flowing. I want it to match with the flowers on the top oh so we're keeping matt okay yeah so, i'm a, a barbarian for, a so i can fight naked you know like we, we kind of love it when you we kind of love it when you do it's yeah it's, I, no, it's my honestly, favorite way to fight super i mean it's my favorite way though that you fight too <laughs> however we do need a place to can we get like rooms or a oh color? yes you know, like oh you, your your invitation to the casino does include individual rooms okay and do you have anything so stronger this... than this tea <laughs> do i have anything what stronger than this tea right like there was a platter i thought of like champagne day that would come out or something <laughs> <laughs> champagne and and they just kind of go it's a local it, oh really? okay. well, yeah it's very local um but it's like just to sit down, I'll get you a drink and I'll find you your sarong. And from the the DM void of the closet and things that suddenly appear because the players ask for it, um, a a flute, a tray of champagne flutes comes out fully filled. Ooh. And um, it's a very Disney montage of barrels. Suddenly you are surrounded by gold fabric. You're getting measured and it is lovely and it is exactly to your specifications. 
Well, now I feel like she should go to seamstress school. I pull Imani. <laughs> wow. I, I say to Imani, you're a cleric. Like, you're supposed to, like, know. You always help, help me with, like, what's good and bad. Like, we shouldn't take this lesbian's money. Right? <laughs> like, am I going to go to hell if I do that? I should 100% take her money. <laughs> I swear I like Imani. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted the to words sure. that she speaks are so it impactful. Maybe clear, but I I don't like being broke. And yeah. this is more money to gamble and poker. And poker. So question, are you being quiet at all, Beryl? No. You see him, Beryl? <laughs> Beryl doesn't do quiet. Look, I'm just asking. <laughs> you're in their hut. They can hear you. We're not. There's not Beryl's a lot of room for us here. Not that smart. Mm. <laughs> She's smart in other ways. Yeah. And also, we've made very clear that we want to get paid if they're going to make us work on our vacation. Exactly. Well, what if we just mm. rob the casino while we're in there? I don't see why it's an either or, but sure, go on. As long as you can find out where the people who lose all their money goes. Oh, yeah. I'm fine with whatever you'd like to do. Oh. Um, and then as you all are talking, uh, they go back into another closet and bring out individual bags, like, you know, like when you are wearing formal attire. And through the magic of D&D, &D, and mm. because I said so, uh, you are each handed a garment bag with a very smart outfit, up to you to describe it, that would fit you in with the patrons of this luxury resort. Ooh. Oh, for my own knowledge, Tanya. Such a Tanya, luxury resort. Okay. Yes. With a tiny floral top, bikini style top, and a gold sarong B. <laughs> would that fit in here? Or am I yeah. sure I'm underdressed? I mean, yes. have you been to Vegas? No, you're... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's hot out. I mean... And again, it's whatever you think your character will wear, so absolutely that would fit in. Mm, okay, so Ricky uh, pulls his garment bag open, and you can see that he normally has his like custom top hat that just makes him seem a little bit taller. Mm -hmm. uh, and inside the garment bag, he pulls out this like silk disc that he then pops out into a new top hat. Woo! <laughs> nice you put it uh, over the old one? over the other one it's lucky <laughs> uh, then, yep. there is a, a bright purple sort of tiny tuxedo that fits him perfectly with roughly green uh like an ascot that comes out from the from the center of it and a little cloth flower okay yes what about the rest of you <laughs> I'll have a flower in my hair, yeah, right, right next to my horn, and okay. uh, uh, and just a, a very sassy, soft blue dress. Mm. Zan is in black. It is this like painted on floor. Well, I guess like ankle length black number with a single little like swirl of purple that sort of turns to green going down the front of it um, looks ki kind of matches ricky uh, yeah just kind of enjoys that uh but yeah it's just like there's not it's uh, zan is not for the the fripperies it's just the thing mm, all idea, right mm. <laughs> oh my god I keep uh, <laughs> <laughs> who's next um Imani um pulls out a very um a strapless red dress Ooh. with oh. a um high-waisted um what is that called like a slit I didn't go to seamstress school um, <laughs> a part in the dress a part oh, in yeah, the dress there yeah, has go. anyone here yet so that's the whole it's thing cute. yeah yeah oh, no. Wow. No. <laughs> and then wow. kind of like um a gold like uh like I want a sweetheart neck. Oh, maybe I did go to uh, seamstress school. Um, <laughs> like a uh, gold breastplate, and then like gold flowers in her white hair. Ooh, Ooh nice. Um, Sylvester pulls out. Um, the top is a. It's it's kind of um a tight fitted sleeveless vest, but cut cut like a tuxedo. Um, you can actually kind of see like white beneath it, and there is a sequined um but like you know like somebody actually spent some time on this this is not like you know like 
Hobby Lobby because they're bullshit sequins right, and good stuff. Um, <laughs> sequin sash that goes across, and then um, he kind of pulls out what would appear to be they're almost like like running shorts that go down to about thigh, and then continues. And he pulls out um, there's a taffeta gown that goes around and kind of fits and and kind of fits under those. So you know, movement, but also fashion, and um, some calf high, some calf high black boots. Nice. Okay. I think that is everyone. Very stylish group. Mm-hmm. You are. Yeah. Um, so you enjoy their hospitality and you basically are given intel on kind of look around for any anyone who seems a little too interested mm-hmm. in new players. Mm-hmm. If anyone is like dragged away, if they seem to be losing. Because basically, right. if someone loses and they seem unhappy, they may suddenly not be at their table, at their machine. Um, okay, so this may be a plan of attack going into this, but we should keep an eye on each other. And when one of us loses or loses a bunch, we should all reconvene and find out what happens to the bait. I mean, the person losing. Yeah. Should we pick one of us to try to lose? I think it might happen naturally. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. We should probably spread out and keep an eye on everything. And as soon as one of us is in trouble, maybe we could have some sort of signal. Ooh, I like that. But maybe we should also go in pairs. Oh, buddy system. Buddy system buddy and system. signal. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Dibs on Zan. Oh, Ooh. it was never a question, Beryl. And while I'm saying this, I'm like carefully stacking all of Sylvester's luggage. And I say to the, I say to Kelvari, I say, they, do you have a, a luggage rack? They don't like when I put their luggage on the floor. <laughs> uh, they just kind of look at you and go, I'll do you one better. We, I've got a, I've got a horse and a cart. I can take you to the steps of the casino. Amazing. Um. So they they get you all bundled up, you know, send everyone off with like little snacks. <laughs> and look, it's 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 full star service here. Yeah. yeah. All right, we love it. I will and say so, when we're getting into like the carriages, Ricky's gonna pull Imani aside. Um, I request the pleasure of your partnership, if you don't mind. I don't mind. I think we are probably not the ones that are getting to the significant trouble. No, I'm I'm very good at gambling, so. Oh, interesting. We could make a <laughs> coin or two. Yes, or five. <laughs> I like the way you think. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, all right. So you all are off toward the casino. And as you're pulling up, it is opulent. Think the MGM Grand in Vegas. Oh. It is. It's a lot. It is bright. There are people all over the place. You see every kind of person you've ever seen in the realms wandering about, all dressed to the nines. This place reeks of money, old money, new money. I got drunk and fleeced people money. <laughs> so you are there at your benefactor's behest. Um, you all have your own nice black envelopes as well. Ooh. And... When you get there, the main hallway is just has beautiful pieces of art, you know, things that in your wildest dreams you could never probably buy, no matter how good of a heist you've gone on. We're talking this has been in the castle for so long, no one can afford to buy this. Um, and it's high ceilings and those chairs that look good, but if you actually sit in them, they're really, really uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a staircase leading up to what seems to be the rooms. There is a lift to the other side because we're an accessible casino. Um, yeah. And then you can see it down the hall. Like It's like if you went under a giant staircase, straight ahead is the casino itself. But there's a bellhop that comes in. You're greeted. You all get checked in. When they see the, your envelope, they they become very deferential to you. And whether you want to take the stairs or the lift, you are each escorted to a beautiful, opulent suite, and it is yours for two weeks. Whoa! Oh, I'm what? going to 
instantly run to the the bathroom and see if there's a big soaking tub because mm-hmm. no one has answered me about the spa <laughs> make your own spa <laughs> true um it's a little it's a little retcon but everyone give me um investigation or perception mm-hmm. to see no. if you notice something on the way to your rooms Ooh, seven. <gasps> seven. Fourteen. Oh, hey. <laughs> you two <plus> together. <laughs> yeah. What did you get, Yania? Fourteen. Ooh. Wow. I got an eight. Y'all. It is not our day. <laughs> We're wait, 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 which one did you say? You said perception or or investigation, whichever's better. Okay, well then. Sorry, math is not it for me. No. I have a 26. <laughs> Whoa. Hi, Matt. Thank oh. goodness somebody did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what did Beryl get? 10. I'm very distracted. <laughs> Eight. I'm it's very bright and shiny Beryl. in here. It's yeah. Happening. <laughs> um, so, Imani, you notice under the under the stairway, like kind of leading back into the casino, you notice a small door that says four staff, but then you notice double doors kind of far off to the right that says staff only. So you do notice those doors that basically people are busting in and out of. And when it swings shut right before you get in the lift or take the stairs, you notice that. So keep that in your pocket. Um, and you all are, again, brought to these opulent rooms. And yes, there's a deep soaking tub. And it's just the most expensive opulent thing you've ever seen oh wow i i'm okay with this it's okay it's okay it's all right this is good um no notes no so you all have a little time yourselves you can unpack get you know, you're already dressed for kind of being on the casino floor if you'd like. Mm. And um, one other thing that greets each of you in your room is a little gift basket. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. What's, in it? What's in the gift basket? Uh, I'm going to roll a d20 and tell you what it is. Uh-oh. Uh, there's a table. <laughs> um, and it's one of Quiddy's d20s, so if this goes badly, blame her. Blame the yeah. brief. Uh, every every could... hotel does this. They roll your gift basket on a t- on a on a <laughs> sending it up. Everyone. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, I rolled a fifteen, so you're in luck. It's it's a good gift basket. Yeah. Um, everyone has like a little flute of champagne and a mini bottle. There is a a if you like chocolate, if you don't like chocolate, whatever your favorite candy is. There's a little parcel of that. There is smoked meat and cheese and a little sideboard, and there's a cold box. And if you look in the cold box, there is another bottle of champagne or your favorite drink that is chilled to perfection for you. And there's a tiny chest that has mm, 200 gold pieces for you to use to gamble. Whoa! Is this oh, each like room? Fire. Or is it each room. room. Wow. No, 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 this is everyone. You each have your own little gift basket. Okay. Actual oh, wow. gold pieces, not like something that like the casino is hammered. Like no, actual... no, 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 no. Like actual gold? <gasps> I'm this casino squeal. uses money, money. Wow. And okay. I'm going to squeal from my room and say loud enough for everyone to hear that there's a charcuterie board. I'm so excited. And it cuts to to Ricky, who has the charcuterie board all laid out with some test tubes and Uh is like slowly putting meats in vials. Yes. (laughs) Like collecting samples. Yes, why not? Yes. Um, Contrast, I'm just eating a summer sausage without slicing it up. (laughs) uh, Yeah. (laughs) That's the stuff right there. It's it's safe and legit. I'm not gonna make anyone roll a constitution because that would be mean. Okay. Um <laughs> I thought about it for a split second. It's I'm not poison. gonna do that. I know. No. <laughs> um so Ricky, mm. give me a wisdom check and tell okay. me what you get. Because I, I need to know what you're doing with this. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, 14, but this is a standard Ricky Huckster procedure. He collects mm. ingredients while he's out, and that's where his magic comes from, is he combines them into potions. And what are you trying to make with a charcuterie board, Ricky? For this one, you never know what ingredients are good for, so it's more of saving this for later. It's more of a, a future potion, a, a, a lunchable. <laughs> oh, okay. Now? 
<laughs> It'll come up later, maybe. Okay. <laughs> Does Ricky have a way to keep these from spoiling? Good question. There are a lot of preservation methods, and you can see that there are some various like liquids and things like that that he pulls into his bottles. Uh, Ricky actually has a disadvantage when it comes to sneaking and uh, trying to get around <laughs> because of all the jangling he has from his ingredients that he carries. Incredible. Okay, <laughs> I'm good. The DM will try to remember that. Yeah, I'd have uh, to remind you too. It comes up a lot. <laughs> no, just more of a what happens when you open that bottle later. Ooh, yes. Oh, uh, yes. That's, sometimes that's yes, part yes, of yes. it. Mm -hmm. Then it becomes um, aged meat. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -mm. So, what do you all like to do in your little bit of free time before you are expected to be on the casino floor? Or are you going straight to the casino? I'm trying yeah. to figure out oh, how to, him. like, oh, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I, Amani pool, uh, pours some champagne and immediately goes to the poker table. Oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. And what was Beryl about to do? I'm trying to figure out how to carry my great axe into the casino. I'm mm -hmm. just like, Zana, don't have anywhere to hang it. Uh, Zanza Hexblade. So I keep pulling this like ornate flail out of my back and being like i don't know what the problem is just put it back <laughs> and it like, disappears and i'm like and it's, it's got i don't know what the, what's i don't know how else to watch i'll do it one more time ready okay. ready all right okay. i'm watching one okay two and then you just sort of pull okay. right god i wish i was like a street music magician and like pulled something out of just it doesn't matter <laughs> <laughs> you should have been ready to like do that like i know think that far ahead <laughs> So, Beryl, are you really trying to walk down the casino floor dressed up with your ex? Well, that's what we're working on. <laughs> I'm just, I'm trying to figure out what I want. I mean, if it was okay. so wrong, it'd be really easy to kind of wrap and then wrap around the hilt and just oh. stuff it back, tuck it back there in the, yeah. You know, think like a, think like a racerback sarong that actually holds your ex in place. Okay, okay. I'm Maybe not. I should go to seamstress school. I'm yeah. not scared <laughs> to do that, Sylvester, but... Um, could I maybe do like a, Tanya, could I maybe do like a sleight of hand or something to see if I can Sure. Hide? Give me sleight of hand with advantage since this is a whole new situation. Yeah. And I'm helping yeah. you out. You just and stand still, still. turn in circles. I will wrap you. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Uh, and that's with advantage. <laughs> that's with advantage. Wow. You both manage. <laughs> yeah, I uh, <laughs> well, I, I'll say with Zan's help, you do manage to get your ex good. tucked into your sarong. Good. Um, it's a good thing you're tall, because otherwise someone might cut their head off bumping into you. <laughs> um. So yeah, because I'm guess I'm guessing Beryl's very tall. Yes. Yes. So over seven feet. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So you can safely carry this axe unless you run into like a dragonborn or something. So, Sylvester, please be careful. <laughs> if you, if you see. <laughs> well, because you're you're close. You're dragonborn, too, right? Well, you're dragonborn. Yeah. But I'm thinking height wise, if you accidentally run into barrel, mm. <laughs> literally run into barrel carrying this axe. No, it wouldn't be the first time I've had to duck out of the way of barrel. So I'm sure it's <laughs> <laughs> OK, then. Um, <laughs> All right, so you're ready to go. You are. You have your ex with you. We'll see if security wants to stop you. That's a whole different thing. Um, is anyone else going armed, visibly armed? Mm. Only with our wit. Yes. And like, you know, Sylvester's grabbed the champagne that was in the cold box and found basically his like, grabbed a vase or bucket over and thrown ice into it to continue carrying the rest of the bottle with them as they <laughs> continue to pour it from the flute, headed to the casino floor. And the moment that he makes eye contact with anyone who looks like staff, uh, points at the points at the now empty bottle of champagne. It's like, can you, can you refill, can you get me another vase? Just to, you know, <laughs> and what's your, and, and uh, cer certainly, uh, what actually, uh, for Sylvester, he or they is what, I should use or doesn't matter they, so either works but uh well i don't i i want our our staff to be conscious uh oh, well then yes you may use he or they for me interchangeably but ah yes best to go with those because i don't really feel comfortable if you want to call me by my actual name and and the staff member who 
I would never deign to ask you your actual name. After all, you're a guest of our establishment, but what is your room number? I don't, nobody said there would be numbers in <laughs> math. Um, whatever, I, uh, what, did we get like keys or tokens uh, or you magical, got a room, magical, you got a like, rune stone. You got a oh. rune stone. Oh, yeah, just. I don't know this. Does this tell you oh, anything? Oh, excellent. And they, they pull a tablet out of like a side pocket. They're wearing like almost like waiter bibs. And they just like <laughs> pass their tablet over it. It goes, excellent. That'll be waiting for you when you return to your room. That's wonderful about my room. But how about like here? Oh, now. the bar is right inside. They will be happy to help you. That's not what I asked, but I guess. I oh, can, I'm sorry. I guess I'm not I can on, I'm take not this on... over to the bar. That's fine. And they just look at you kind of like, they're looking at you like, do I look like I'm dressed for bar service? Oh. <laughs> like, I didn't, realize one, so I didn't realize one needed a uniform to go get a bottle, but okay, I'll handle oh. it. Thank you. <laughs> and then they just, you just notice them pulling back their tablet out and just like making no, notes. Ooh, that would oh, have been permanent. Oh, you got a note? Oh, you oh. got a note? <laughs> they're talking about can you. I see, uh, can I see what the note is? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, You've got to do a high perception for me. Oh, goodness gracious. One second. Um, <laughs> it's like getting a low star Uber rating. <laughs> I know, right? Um, wait, since, it, since this is happening on a casino floor, can Imani like hear or see this ooh. interaction? Since um, my perception how, is high. How far into the casino floor did you go? Um, Where are the post Just, tables? Oh. Yeah, right. She's, yeah, she's already down there. Never mind. Um, well, I haven't decided where the poker tables are. I'll <laughs> say that you are focused on your game, but because you do have a high passive, you might be able to hear it. Give me a perception check with advantage. And what was your role, Brian? Uh, I'm going to, uh, Sylvester's casting enhance ability on, on himself to, uh, okay. to get a little bit of advantage on this because sometimes it's better to be a little keen eyed when it comes to uh, mm -hmm. okay. uh, itinerant people. Uh, that would be with advantage. Uh, would you do the math for me, please? I can't. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, you hear murmurings, you recognize Sylvester's voice, but you don't know what's going on. But Sylvester, you notice, uh, you peep over and note that, uh, guess that is here on someone else's forbearance is a little bit pushy make sure to give him what he wants so we don't have to hear from their benefactor i guess i can get him a bottle does 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 the staff person bring, come does the staff person manage the bottle thing <laughs> they just after they turn their tablet they're like wait here please they give you that vacant customer service smile <laughs> um <laughs> Go wow, you really just too good. Eyes. Just good. <laughs> you fucked up. Um, and so they they go and they even do like the presenting it over their arm thing. They just lay it on thick. Does this please you? <laughs> oh yes. Thank you so much. And um Sylvester takes like five of the gold coins from the room and and, and doesn't even try to be subtle about it and just says here. Thank you. I realize oh, we're, not... we're thank you, but we're paid a living wage here. <laughs> oh my, I'm starting to this love this fantasy. place more yeah. and more. Um, and frankly, if you try to tip us, it would be insulting. To whom? And he just leans into you. <laughs> I can assure you, sir, after having read your guest dossier, that. I make more here in a day than you've ever made in venturing. Have a good day. Oh. And walks off. Okay. Remember, that's, we're here to fight no, the staff. <laughs> I, you know, I'm just one of those things where it's like, wait, who am I here to fight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Wait a second. Yeah, no, I'm going to remember that. <laughs> Sylvester will remember this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, There's a no like, at least, look, if anyone dies today, I can at least say, well, you've had a very good life. <laughs> Yikes. Meanwhile, Beryl and Zan are like a, a complete contrast. You know I mean? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah. And Beryl's not very, like, she's not very suave. 
So oh. I feel like I would have Zan by the arm. Yeah. And I'd be like, what would you like to do first? But I also like stop the staff and give them way too much information. Like, hello, my name is Beryl. This is my wife, Zan. Okay. But I'm bisexual, not a lesbian. <laughs> Super same. <laughs> we are in love with each other. Yeah. We have Weirdly to... enough, true. <laughs> we are there to uh... celebrate our very traditional marriage with a traditional honeymoon the best cover <laughs> zan zan like doesn't feel a strong need to have a cover story but just loves watching barrel tell it <laughs> there's oh something my. about barrel that really like gets to a place inside of zan that this is gross that no one has ever quite gotten to before uh, <laughs> you're touched uh, i'm lucky we would like to blow lots of money and get our uh, adrenaline kicks. Where is a great game where we can do that and I can impress my beautiful wife with my gaming prowess? We'll take two ales and my apologies. Thank you, sir. <laughs> two um... ales each. Well, then. <laughs> um. They just nod and smile at you, Beryl. <laughs> like I, looking around like, I got money and a wife with like gold <laughs> dripping out of my hand. And my gold sarong. Uh, yes. <laughs> they, they, you're their favorite kind of customer. The one they figure is going to either make them a lot of money or lose all your money. Either mm. way, they're, they're happy to have yeah. you. But they give you that kind of, Oh, you're so sweet. Bless you. You're, you're <laughs> oh, love. Bless your heart. <laughs> Spend money so and make love. And I got both. <laughs> I'm just walking around. <laughs> Can't you have a I drink don't... friggin' like living? Making a scene. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I think I just need to find us a table where Beryl can throw things. So like craps, <laughs> fantasy craps, um, hold or like on. like not a card oh. game. That feels since, like bad news. Since it's like, like join me on the poker table? casino. <laughs> Is there any strength games? Oh, uh, can she so, hit a bell? Right. I, I was, <laughs> I was getting there. So toward the back, you see like, uh, not quite as opulent because it does have one of those games where you smack the bell um but it's like also kind of gaudy it's like like the stark the i don't know what the right word is for the the part that holds the bell uh -huh. um and then the platform where you smack the the clacker with with some with a hammer or whatever it is i don't know the right name of carnival games i'm so sorry mm -hmm. uh, right. we know what's there and no, we're we got got you. We got you. following <laughs> But the the what you notice though, because this place is kind of bougie, is the thing that raises up to hit the bell. Should you be able to hit it? it looks like it's a gemstone, Ooh. and you and you realize it's a solid diamond, the hardest substance. So that's why they chose it to hit the bell. And it looks like it's a little taller than barrel, and it's a strength game. Hey, uh, and, hey barrel, you want to go break a diamond? <laughs> thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Are you actually proposing to me, Zan? Zan just points. Zan does pause for a moment and is like, oh, maybe. No, the <laughs> points at the diamond. <laughs> oh, right, right. Of course. A single teardrop falls. <laughs> oh. uh, and, and Zan, like, shakes herself and puts a, a, a strange, familiar-looking box back in her pocket for a moment. So like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just oh walking God. from another table like. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm all invested. Like, when is this going to happen? <laughs> Ooh, you really are on vacation. <laughs> you I feel like we smack this bell. Yes. Uh, as we like look over the casino floor, we cut to Imani at the poker table. And right next to her, up to her like shoulder, you see the top of the purple silk top hat as Ricky takes a seat next to her. <laughs> a booster? With a booster seat. Yeah. I would have thought they would have had accommodating chairs. Yeah, Come yeah. on. But do they have a booster that matches Ricky's hat? Oh. Yes. <laughs> um, do you wish for that out loud? Yeah, oh, if only I had some sort of booster seat, you'd think they'd be more accommodating. And just silently behind you, there is someone in a tuxedo oh. that does a flourish, claps their hands. And there is a booster seat that matches your hat exactly. 
So Ricky pops up onto the booster seat and then goes in close for a whisper to Imani and says, they're always listening. <laughs> you, you notice that too, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And this person has just wandered off. They just, the casino is like, I'm, I'm going to date myself. What's the island with Hervé Villachey? Oh my God, Fantasy, Fantasy Island. Fantasy Think island. of if Fantasy Island and a casino merged. Oh, is that the show where it's like a plane, a plane? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. I saw a documentary about that. (laughs) Staying anywhere anywhere really nice is this scary because yes, you barely even ask for anything. Someone just shows up. No, I'm glad you said it because now I want to A, watch it and B, cry in a corner because I watched it when it was on TV. (laughs) (laughs) Same. Thanks, Confetti. Thanks. That's great. Yep. We'll be here, I guess. Uh, maybe for the also, next <laughs> my mom's not watching. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Girl, I could probably be your mom. It's fine. It's a reality. I can it's fine. Same. <laughs> uh, but yes, you know, basically anything you wish within reason and within what the DM feels like giving you <laughs> will appear should you verbalize that wish. Mm. Um, so before we take a break, let's see if Beryl breaks the diamond and I want to see oh. what Zan does. Uh, uh, what mm. role? What should I roll? Strength. Sand Strength. Do. Oh. Sand dude. Um. All right. I'm as a barbarian. I'm guessing you have a decent strength. I would laugh if if she did. Twenty two. That would be amazing. Is that what you roll? Or is that your strength? <laughs> Twenty two oh, strength. That's what, I, that's what I rolled with my modifier. Oh yeah, you. So you see, basically, it's like a split second of this diamond going up and then it just shoots straight up and hits the bell (laughs) and literally everything in the casino stops for a second (laughs) because no one has managed to hit that bell. These are fancy rich people that have servants to do everything. No one has ever hit that bell. I didn't even use the provided mallet. I just <laughs> with, <laughs> with your hand, like this, like Dan. Yeah. I love it. Zan was and... definitely turned around, like talking to whoever's running this game, and like has the mallet in hand and turns around <laughs> as the thing rings and just goes, "Well, thank you very much." Up in the distance, like tapping Sylvester's arm, like. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvester's so busy drinking. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. No, Everyone heard that? That wasn't them. just that wasn't just in my head. Everyone heard that? <laughs> okay. I mean, I can yeah. drink. I'm, Rolling I'm up in here talented. looking like new money. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Um, and so question, and, and this will be more of a yes and rule of cool. Oh dear. Do you want to have either broken the diamond, cracked it, or wedged it into the bell? Ooh. I wanna I wanna break it. Oh. Uh, so as you hear this reverberation and everyone's eyes are kind of going, what was that? Zan and Beryl, you look up and you see chips of this diamond just start to fall down. <gasps> you managed to break it. <gasps> I'm going to distract so Zan can pickpocket. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> some of these I'm going to be like, yes, I, I am a successful, rich, strong, bisexual woman. <laughs> How I'm far away dream. does the diamond like scatter go? Like, is it um around the five area, feet, ten feet? Um, maybe five to eight feet, depending okay. on how fast chips fall. I mean, and keep in mind, this is a breaking diamond, so please be careful with it. Yeah, uh, don't cut yourself. Mm. Um, so and yeah, it's but it was a big diamond. It's you know like so that's enough gemstone for whoever wants to pick it up great yeah and is this so much of a distraction like pretty much everyone in the casino is like turned that way yeah for a hot second yeah Uh because no one has managed to ring the bell let alone break the diamond so can i do um clairvoyance to look inside the staff room that i noticed yeah sure uh for the for the edification of those watching what does clairvoyance do (laughs) I got to read, too. There's math and reading in this game. I am not okay. Uh, I did not. This is a day off. (laughs) Okay. Turn to page 222. (laughs) You didn't see it coming. That's what it does. I will. Keep your finger finger on the page you're on just in case that page is not good and you want to make a different decision. Oh, you're Uh, still going to have a ribbon? (laughs) 
Um, you create an invisible sensor with a range and location familiar to you, a place you have visited or seen before, or in an obvious location that is unfamiliar to you, such as behind a door, around a corner, or in a grove of trees. The sensor remains in place for the duration, and it can't be attacked or otherwise interacted with. When you cast the spell, you choose seeing or hearing. You can use the chosen sense through, through the sensor as if you were in that space. As your action, you can switch between seeing and hearing. A creature that can see the sensor, such as a creature benefiting from see invisibility or true sight, sees luminous and tangible orb about the size of your fist. All right. Um, so you are doing clairvoyance. I am. And I will tell you what is behind that door. And it was just one door, right? Because I think when I was describing my brain split in two. So it's a, uh, like there was a door for staff or staff only. It's just there was door. a. It was basically a supply closet that said for staff use only. But then there is a staff door. Okay. Staff, staff only door. door. Um, okay. Ooh, I am getting an echo suddenly. I don't think. Hopefully, it's not me. Um, what you see is actually cells. You see the first part that is very clear that you know people are coming in, they're changing clothes going on and off shift. And in the back of it, though, it just tapers off into basically a jail. There are four cells and there are four people in those cells. One per cell. The thought clickens. <laughs> <laughs> there's too much silence sorry <laughs> oh sorry yeah I'm, i have to i'm writing it down uh normal, no no okay. you were doing the correct response yeah thing no and just, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. That's yeah. fantastic no, no. so this is finished so this is drinking is holding right. the glass up to grab no. to basically let some diamond shards fall into it <laughs> yeah. are um, we that wow. last one is like so shouting on mission we're drinking diamonds be good I'll, I'll I'll you know, thank you for providing the distraction yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'll reach out to grab one and as i do i would like to kind of like subtly cast uh detect uh, i'm sorry find traps oh nice good call uh, oh. what's, what's the radius on detect traps on find traps 120 feet nice Dang. so in the immediate casino there are no traps okay good to know Thank you. Yeah, they don't want their patrons dying on the floor. Well, I, mean, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. They die like they drop. I don't know. It's the magic. Maybe the staff door would have was trapped. Now mm -hmm. we don't have to worry about That's it. That's true. No, they treat their staff too well, and it's actually like a five-year waiting list to get employed at this casino. Uh -huh. We don't know so. them. <laughs> wow. I'm wow. not here for work. We didn't. I didn't search oh, no. on Google. Oh no, might get an application when we leave. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Like, way cushier than our job yeah. well the and point they is they don't want to well they don't want right. to they don't want to accidentally kill an employee by trapping where they need to go in and use supplies <laughs> um so you you know that there are cells there are no traps at least in the immediate 120 feet you all have gotten your your diamond pieces uh while that's happening zan did you want to do anything oh i am very happy with my wife right now <laughs> supporting her hyping her love that for you Sam doesn't know what is happening to her right now <laughs> oh i thought Sam maybe was going to pull that little box back out but that's okay oh, no no not time. yet I no because now there's diamonds and it feels too obvious you know what i mean like it's like nah this is What's that like we're not pull? doing diamonds anymore well and like oh. i mean it's a nice ring but for heaven's sake is that's a that's a rock you know what i like i can't compare Oh, yes, you can. Yours is uh, a single, and there's a million of those. Well, and also, that is just that is to the rich people of the casino, that's just a bauble they're going to sweep up and replace eventually. Uh, they're also just kind of like someone actually hit the bell. They're more impressed by that. <laughs> right. I love so, the attention. I'm mm, just like, yes, it's true. I broke it. Oh, uh, yeah. People are clapping once they realize what happened. And <laughs> Uh, Why are you barrel... Buy me a drink. Like... <laughs> <laughs> As someone walks by, I'm gonna. Does she get like a button or a pin or something? <laughs> I broke the diamonds, right? Like a stab. No. <laughs> oh, a stab. Not I a feel stash. like this is. I feel like like a crown. Something that indicates that 
she did something miraculous today. Like, I feel like this is this should be recognized. I agree. Uh, one of those things like I went to Isla Fortuna and all I did was break a diamond. Uh, both of you give me a performance check. <laughs> oh, I'm not good at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm good at that. Yeah, <laughs> that's the magic of D and D. Did you? What did you get, Jeffrey? Uh, I would be genuine Beyond though, dice, homie. So this mm. is rare. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Beryl, as you say that, that you know, I went to Isla Fortuna, and all I did was break a diamond. There is a uh, very statuesque tiefling woman who comes up to you and just starts taking your measurements <gasps> you asked for it out loud um what color would you like madam oh. you got a mad <laughs> one you got to reward that <laughs> uh red yeah. uh, and what color lettering would you like letters the things that make the words uh, gold gold maybe oh. like gold on red be kind of okay. flashy that will be in your room on the morrow anything else for you i'm like you notice i'm like blushing because she's like measuring me and i'm like <clears throat> is it a, yeah, I'm on a, or a i'm on a pretty strict nutritional regimen right now <laughs> yeah there it is <laughs> i'm bulking it's not, it's not cutting season yet um I'm married. And I pushed it. <laughs> um, I mean, she was just measuring you. <laughs> it's it's uh, it's just me projecting. <laughs> right. This is yeah. I'm married. Like I understand this. <laughs> um, and she just very well, madam. Um, well, if you give us your measurements for your what was it cutting season, will. Get that done for you too. She's just very confused because all she was doing was her job. Um, and she just kind of like waits a minute. If no other info is forthcoming, she just wanders away. And uh, my best. <laughs> uh, over at the poker table, I feel like this is something that Imani has done before. And so while her like physical body is still there, Ricky is sort of like uh, puppeteering her <laughs> at the poker table. <laughs> like, oh no, she's fine. She's just a little tired. Don't worry. But she's taking a nap with her eyes open. Too it much happened. champagne. <laughs> yeah, too much champagne. <laughs> Which really, if it's not really from that champagne region, it's just sparkling alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Very, very good, very, very good, sir. <laughs> anyway, hit me. Is that what we're playing? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, you're actually. <laughs> you're... I'm sorry, y'all. I lost it. You're actually playing um, a game called Bluffer's Dice. Ooh. And basically, um, give me a d20 roll and tell me what you get. Oh, we're doing this. Natural oh, one. Yes. <laughs> you did not win any money on that round. <laughs> oh. If anyone else would like to be playing Bluffer's Dice, uh, now is the time to speak up. Amazing. Uh, uh, how long, Imani, do you stay in clairvoyance or do you snap back? Well, was I done? Wait, was I done seeing everything? Just the... uh, That you could easily see, yes. You know that there are four, there's a person in each cell block and you can kind of make out another doorway at the end of the cell block. Do I hear anything? No, because you chose vision over over hearing. It says that I can switch between as you're asking, oh, you, you can switch between seeing and hearing. Um, hmm. What do you hear? You hear some very sad, weepy noises oh, okay. from one of the cells. It's like the, please, sir, may I have another? Because mm. these folks are being held in cells and they are chained basically. So whenever their cells are open, you feed them or give them a bath or whatever it is they're doing with these people. Uh, they don't run away or fight back, but they're all weakened. They're not being fed very often. One person sounds very raspy and almost like they've got something stuck in their throat. Hmm. 
Hmm. And, you know, it's basically begging to be let out. It's very, it's, it's dark and scary in there. Okay, then I snap back. <laughs> <laughs> Double and nothing, one more time. <laughs> um, and that is actually a good spot to take a quick break. Everyone hey. hydrates. And uh, we're going to see what lies in the depths of the Isla Fortuna Casino, y'all. Be back Woo-hoo! in five to ten.
Hey, y'all, we're back. We've had a break. We've gotten even sillier on the break, if you can believe that. <laughs> uh, so maybe we'll solve the mystery. Maybe we won't. Maybe y'all will just live in this casino forever. Let's see what happens the next I hour. Would. And a half. I literally would. <laughs> Hello, it's really nice. Sound you great. that as not an option yet. Here we are. <laughs> yeah. So, you know what? Whatever happens, happens. Uh, if someone can be kind enough, you can see the stream. Let me know where we are in donations. Because while we are having fun and being ridiculous, we are raising money. So if someone can hit charity in chat and We're give that link, that'd be $2, great. $2,495.69. Can I get some Ooh, nice in the nice, 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 nice. Nice. Very nice. Can we, uh, That bar is at 3000 Can we make it happen in this next Ooh, hour and a half? Yeah, we can. Easy. Let's go. Oh, we, we started at 2000 So thank you all so much. Oh, here here come the nice. Yeah. A nice. Okay, so <laughs> Monty, actually, did you share yeah. what you saw with the group? I was about to share what I saw with Ricky since mm. he's right next to me. Mm. Okay. Playing my cards. And then we're gonna correct that too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh go ahead, share, share with Ricky, and then you know, while while you two are catching up from your your spiritual walk what are the rest of you like gathering around are you still like gathering diamond chips and being yourselves i mean i think in in all of that like i think i was at least trying to keep an eye out for like anyone who very it don't have to be pretty obviously but like if anybody lost really big or seemed really upset about their time um i think that's sort of what my head was on a swivel for as i you know collect diamonds and weep about my tiny this tiny stone in my box <laughs> uh give me a background perception check and put it in chat what you get uh imani <laughs> imani uh what are you sharing with with ricky hey brick so i like whisper mm. because you know the They're listening. Um, the dealer is right there um but i'm getting to say like hey ricky um, yeah. behind the staff door i was looking i was uh, searching i was on my little spiritual walk Mm. and there's cells in there and there's people in See? the cell and it, look, it seems like they're suffering and I hear them moaning and it's not this place is ah, the vibe it ain't it ain't good so, understood let's spring into action well, you well, warn well, the others okay and then Ricky will hop subtle off. Subtle spring, the... subtle spring, <laughs> and, also, <laughs> and also, and also, never play my cards ever again. Ah, whoopsie! And Ricky's gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so Ricky's going to make his way over to the door that uh, Imani indicated, which is that staff door. Um, and as he's walking over, he's preparing a spell uh, by gathering some of his potion ingredients. He casually walks in front of the um these like it's you said double doors, right? Like yep. just the opulent double door. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you were to look closely, you could see that he ha has a little vial that some liquid is like dribbling out of, and he walks in a straight line in front of the the doors. Uh, and it, hopefully nobody is looking too closely, but if they are, they would see it sort of shimmer and the uh minor illusion activates of the doors staying shut and not active. Oh, I like this. You know what? That's a very cool move. I am not going to roll perception for any staff and ruin this. Oh. Uh, <laughs> They've seen nothing. <laughs> nothing. These are not the doors you were looking for. <laughs> so uh, do you all want to enter these doors? And are you all back together? That's the important part. Oh. Um, well, well, you probably went off. We're, we, were, we were close. We, I know a lot we, of us were close to the diamonds. Yeah, we were reconnoitering from the I think, I think Imani, area, like, goes, so. Imani goes to, like, each individual person and, like, does the, like... The, the sign. Yeah. <laughs> so, we really should have picked a better sign. Yeah, but okay. <laughs> oh, that's works, what she's though. doing. Oh, my it God. Works. Yeah, okay. let's go. I'll go. Right. <laughs> Meryl! Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, uh, lovely ladies, I must beg your excusal. I have shenanigans with which to grapple. All of them above board. 
She starts off every sentence so well, and it always just tanks, but in the most charming way. <laughs> That's very <laughs> <laughs> that Deny. Oh my god. Oh. And then I very exaggeratedly bow. Yes. Okay. And I'm just sort of gently steering her towards Imani and and, and crew. And for the sake of convenience and not rolling bloodshed, no one is by the edge of your axe. <laughs> just keep like, oh, nope, this way. Okay. All right. So everyone has been informed of what lies beyond the door. Uh, Ricky has illusioned the door so that when, even once you go through it, everyone will still think it's closed. Um, are you choosing to go through the door? Can I do um, to, uh, find traps before we go to the door? Or do I need to do we need to step through the door and then do it? Uh, it Zephry, uh, Zephry did that already. So you know that on the main casino floor, there are none. I would wait until you're in the door to do that again. Okay. So I vote we go through the door. Yeah, mm. let's do it. So keeping the illusion intact, uh, Ricky's going to keep watch as uh, we like wait for a crowd to come by and one by one, someone disappears behind the, the closed doors. Cool. Excellent. Very heisty. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Is there any kind of DC the crowd has to roll to not perceive this or just? That's a good question. Are we using the Assassin's Creed method of blending in? <laughs> We're trying. <laughs> <laughs> I guess only if someone noticed something that they would try to see if it were an illusion or not. Yeah, the staff is not concerned about all that. Mm -hmm. You all successfully enter the staff only area. And because of this illusion, I'm going to hand wave it and say that somehow people don't notice you because you are dressed all fancy. Yeah. And for whatever reason, they're like, well, you got back here. I guess you must belong here. Oh, yeah. We we have the okay. total. We are here. We belong here. As long here as they by. do notice us, though, because that would be a crime if they didn't. <laughs> we look too good. Do you want this heist to work or not? <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, as long as they notice us, but also notice that, like, we're not to be noticed. Right, we don't want to be perceived, just mm. noticed. I'm going to let you have that. Put us, put us in that tiny spot in your mind that says, not my business, but also notice they was fine, no, but not my business. Okay, I'm going to roll for a couple people to have that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh... They are trained customer-facing staff. They know how to do this instinctually, okay? <laughs> I know, but I'm using my metal dice to either roll really well or always give me nat ones. Oh, oh well, great. Mm, Super stoked um, about that. Dice, I need you, I need you with me on this one. Okay. <laughs> dice, I'm talking so just to you. <laughs> what's funny is one of them did give me a nat one, the other yes. gave me a nat 20. Oh, mm. well. They, you know, uh, I, think, I think these dice are, are weighted. I bought them from a Kickstarter. I think they're weighted badly. Oh, oh <laughs> more. In your favor, depending. <laughs> sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not. So mm. most of them are giving you the hmm, when they when they start working here, like, and then a couple just go, "Oh, that must be the new guy." Oh, so if we walk past into these doors, we don't see the cells, like the that no, was further. So basically, you see from what um, Imani described. You have to go really far and basically like past where any staff really should be that are not special staff. Sure. And, you know, there's a corridor. And by the time you get through this corridor and come out, because it's hard to tell, I guess, during clairvoyance, like actual layout. Yeah it's, yeah. it's that kind of you're looking through a glass view of things. So you go through a corridor and then you come out and then you see the four cells that were described. Got it. Okay. So um, all of you give me a perception check so I can tell you exactly what is in those cells or not. Oh, for the hell? It's a five. Wait, oh. did, I, did I do <gasps> the, the traps? Oh, you or rolled over oh, right. time. You, could a... do... you did not, but you can do that now. Okay, so I, I, I do that. <laughs> okay, but also give me a perception check while you do that. I got a 20. Dirty, dirty 20. Nice. 20 and 20. Yeah, dirty okay. 20. We love the dirty 20s. We do. Mm. That's the best 20s. Mm -hmm. 22. Uh, Ricky got a 21, but he's looking specifically for any sort of guards that might be here or any other staff. Nope. No guards, no staff. It is weirdly dark and like chilly back here. Got it. Um, so most of you see four cells, but first, uh, Imani, what was your traps roll? Oh, do I? Oh, wait. 
No, I don't think you do. Oh, you don't, I don't roll for detecting oh, a spell, right? Yeah. Or finding yeah. traps. Find traps, no. yeah. Um, let me quickly look at this PDF and I can tell you. Um, no, there are no traps. Page 241. <laughs> uh, actually, it's page 64. But, uh, oh. so, so for those of you that do notice, there are four cells and they each have a different captive in them. The captives are, you know, kept in there in a way. And now that you're in there, you also notice between the cells on one of the walls is a body size chute labeled very clearly and unsubtly corpses. Oh, God. It's there. It's just in whatever language okay. it's, you know, we'll say it's trade. And it's a very lovely sign, but it says corpses. Um, I like a good tube, but that is a little ominous. <laughs> it's very ominous. Uh, one of them looks unharmed, just dirty and hungry. Mm. And the other looks very weak, like they're laying on the floor and they look, they look starved and hungry. And one of them, the person isn't moving. Mm. They're, they're beyond help. Mm. And the last cell, there is a haggard, I don't know why they describe it this way, but a middle-aged elf. <laughs> and she looks slightly unresponsive, but as you get closer, you do notice that they're breathing very slightly. Or at least it looks like breathing, you're not sure. Um, and all of them are in locked cells, if any of you would like to either help them, hinder them, leave them to later... I would like to cast a mass cure wounds just nice. like just a whoosh, once I see them all. Um all right. What does the mass cure wounds give them back? Uh three D eight plus three hit points. All right, roll it. I just did. Yeah, unfortunately. I don't see it in there, but it says I did it. You know, game log is not our friend today. It is no, not. It's so not. That too. Mine's yeah. been sluggish. You want me to do it again? Yeah, or if you have physical dice, go ahead and roll it. Let's there it do. is. There it is. 20. Nice. Um, two of the people, you can tell they get a little more pep in their step. And one of them just looked tired and dirty. They didn't really seem hurt. The person who was kind of laying there looking like really out of it, they actually like kind of slowly get to their hands and knees and look around in confusion because they know something changed. They're just not sure where it came from. Mm. But your spell didn't work on the other person. Which one? The one that's that the elf. Think is beyond help or the, the elf? Okay. The elf okay. doesn't seem affected by mass cure wounds. Oh, dear. Mm, uh... Not to be indelicate, but does anybody have anything that could maybe detect undead? I think I do. Uh, yeah. Just a little check. <laughs> just a little something. Okay, hello. I thought Apparently I did I don't that. Care. I, I did took detect magic. Okay. Um, is anyone detect trying to detect undead? No. <laughs> I, I, I think I don't think Catholic. <laughs> I would probably, we would probably know though, right? Because that it's, they're either undead or a construct if they're alive. I was going to say, point, right? like, yeah, the you power think of deduction, spell. right? Yeah. Like, when you're well, tired of this perception? casino, you're tired of living, I guess, is really what this is. Right. Like, <laughs> uh, uh, some, can I roll something to see if I remember? Elimination? Yeah. Is that it's one of those two? Um, that would be Arcana. Oh, yeah. Right. Um, Beryl or Zan, do you want to do anything? Um, I'm probably going to start talking, try talking to one of the people in the cells. Okay. Um, not the elf, what? because <laughs> they're freaking me out. Yeah. <laughs> oh. But like one of the Oliver Twist style. <laughs> I'm going to very nonchalantly like lean against the bars and be like, so like, did you lose money? <laughs> And one of them looks up and is like, at first they're kind of freaked out because this giant like woman with an axe is leaning over them. Fair. No, no, I, I have no more gold. Please let me out. I, I swear I won't tell anyone what I've seen. Please. Wait, but like, this had turned to Zan. I'm like, yeah. why didn't they put them in the body shoot? Like, why keep them? 
Well, I mean, I... Body it, shoot? What? <laughs> Yeah, there's a corpse shoot that they put all your bodies in, and I'm. It's labeled and everything. Why. It's right yeah. there. Like, I mean, it's I dark. Know why they bothered putting you here when they could just? Yeah, I mean, they bothered to get a label maker. <laughs> a very nice one too. Like the contract. Like, they they, they nice. get the Dymo one. Like, yeah, the, for real. They, they, kind of, they pat themselves and go, but but I'm not a corpse yet. Yet, yeah, what have you seen? You said you won't tell anyone what you saw. We're not with them. No, oh, yeah, yeah, to be very clear, we probably won't put you in the corpse hole. Probably. Why does she always say probably? <laughs> well, I mean, really, though, she's not wrong. It could be a good way out. Who knows? We're just... Uh, quickly, before Options I forget, open. what were your O'Connor rolls? You can throw them in the chat. Um, what I meant. So they're just like, no, 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 it's terrible. It's terrible. If you lose your money, you, you lose everything. They don't want anyone to ever think they, they'll lose money here. I have to get out. But but it's a casino. Okay. <clears throat> so they don't want you to lose money and they have you back here. But what do you mean? What else did you see? You said, uh, why are they, what are they doing with you here? Why are you locked up and not dead in the hole? Like my friend here just said. I didn't lose quietly. I kind of made a big deal out of it. Uh-huh. Well, fair uh -huh. enough. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of gold. So is it just like, they, they're mad at you because you made the big deal about it? They want to keep the reputation there only for winners. Mm. But, but what have you done since then? Do they feed you? Do they just keep you here? Do you entertain yourself or others? They... I think they drug our food. We eat and then I, I sleep a lot. Huh? Wait, Ooh, and then Ricky will pull out some of the samples from the charcuterie board. Did they drug your food? Oh, oh did anybody no. eat? Ricky, no, way the too food. About that. The food they, the food they give us, not the customers. Well, you never know. Fine. Can, wait, can I use um, detect poison or disease from the food? Hey, like a whole summer sausage. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, I look over and she's saying, poisoning the, if they're poisoning the sparkling wine, then I may as well be dead. <laughs> it's too late for me. Uh, go ahead. Everything, I will say, everything you all have eaten as paying customers of the casino so far has, has been not been poisoned. Poison. This but is, is, but is their food in the the, the ones cell? in the cells? Yes. Oh. So can I detect it on the food that's in the cell? It's, it's not poisoned. It's enhanced, shall we say? Oh, oh I would love to be enhanced right now. Oh, <laughs> it is legal there. Um, um. <laughs> do any of us? We have apparently traveled together for at least some time. Mm. Are any of us good at picking locks, or are we just going to blow these doors? <laughs> Great. Are okay. any of you? Wait, wait, wait. Well, if nobody can pick locks, I can teleport in because I'm an astral elf and I can do I, that. Are we worried about doors? And Sylvester just like <laughs> indicates barrel. Oh, right. That's I, true. I, I, mean, I wasn't worried about the door. I was simply. And, and I did detect traps and I didn't hear any feedback about the traps. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, was, I was getting there. Uh, no, there, there are no traps in this area. Yeah. Not can I. Not that they're worried about the prisoners getting hurt, but the, the guards that you have yet to see. Okay. Yeah, that, that's before, I like the way you said that. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe I'll does that. Can I detect magic? Sure. I just want to make sure there's no like other shady shit going on. Are you really just not gonna roll these things for me? Don't you have physical dice? Oh, I can't. I mean ugh. That's like math. That's like work. <laughs> um, it doesn't say what to roll, though. This is the problem. Um, I asked for an Arcana check. Oh. Did you roll that already? Twelve. No, I didn't before. Um, there's magic at work, but mostly to kind of be an extra layer. Should they get a prisoner who is a mage or can do magic? Mm. But there's not magic in the air affecting you all as it were mm. so if i um, teleport would i be kind of screwed um probably but mm. barrel there and these are not like the most up-to-date incarceration devices so you would you would have a dc 10 on each cell door to break it 
in the layout of where we are, is this at like the end of a hallway or is there another, like, can we go further in once oh, yeah. they're out of the cells? You can go further in. Now that you're in there, you see another hallway. Ah. Well, if we let them out now, you all, what we'll was, go that way, you go that way. What was the name of the seamstress to be? Okay. Uh, Something like, I... Okay. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't take notes. I don't know. Yeah, I don't Kilvari. actually take notes. Kilvari. Kilvari. Mm-hmm. That's, does, that's it. So, yeah, Sylvester's like, does the name Kalvari mean anything to anyone here? Who's... Oh, and one of the, the one that got healed and actually kind of came back to himself, oh, good. she sits up, Kalvari's still okay? Oh, I'm so worried it was going to be the dead one. <laughs> no, there is no, there is no killing our gays in this game. Yay! No. Oh, <laughs> I actually meant the undead one, which is yeah, well the one worse. that we're the, the one that we're not really sure what's going yeah, on. Yeah, the construct. <laughs> there. Uh, you don't know it's a construct. You, right, we're I not. Will con- no, I will confirm there. Uh, I will confirm they are. They are a flavor of undead. Mm. Oh, we do like flavors of undead. Especially, well, especially in queer stories. Mm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wow. So, uh, Barrel. Or what? Okay. First off, do you want to free the two obviously human, well, humanoid people out of these cells? Uh, uh, yeah, I would love I, to try. I think so. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Give me rolls. It's a very low DC because you're a giant barbarian with a big okay. axe. Yes. I got a twenty-four. Yes. And an 18. Yeah. Uh, not only do you break the lock, you kind of just, the one that, where you got a 24, like, the the door just falls in, luckily not on the prisoner. It just it just goes, woof. Oh. And they're just kind of sitting there going, oh, oh, okay. And the one that and is I clearly. And I grab them and I say, <laughs> time to escape. And I take them and I throw them down the corpse chute. <laughs> Oh, I no. assume that's how we're leaving. Maybe. <laughs> uh, I, you know, well, I mean, look, it's been done now, so it's been put out there. Um, <laughs> it had a label. Well, the first one, she resists, but at that strength, she just, she we'll just. see you on go- the other side. Uh, the one who is clearly Kilvari's missing wife is like, I will walk out. I'm good. Thanks for your Are rest. Are you going to be safe? Are, are you going to be okay? Do they? How do they know that you you lost? Are are you okay? What if the guards get you on the way out? Oh no, she. So you see her kind of like dust herself off, and once the door is down, there was another panel on the wall, and apparently she's a rogue, and no. she no. she's been watching the guards like take people's stuff, so she knows her stuff is in this panel, so she gets her stuff. She's she's kitted back out in her rogue outfit, and she just like smoke before, bombs out. Before, yes, before, is she gone? Go, gone? No. What do you want to say? Okay, yeah, watching watching her obviously um, not new to this life. Um, what are what can we expect in terms of resistance pushback? Are there guards? Is there a timetable? Um, what can you tell us? We're kind of winging it. Oh b- wow! Way to call up my DM style um, <laughs> and my adventuring style. Yeah, Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're level ten. We're pretty good at it. Yeah, it, right. Uh, yeah. We definitely have ten Everybody. levels of friendship among us. Uh, <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's right. So she points to the other cell. Um, that's a vampire. I suggest you leave them where you found them. A vampire. Okay. I mean, yes. Oh, so we're, we're playing I the mean... vampire game now. <laughs> now it's vampire. like a bruja. We're we talking Tori Dorothy. <laughs> um, don't don't answer. Inquire. Yeah, we, we, we need to run. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ooh. And then um, as she's like adjusting straps and buckles before she looks for her flask to smoke bomb out, she's like, look, I heard one name. This seems to be the person in charge of all of this weirdness. <sighs> And I didn't, I swear I'm not making this up. Their name is Auntie Climax. I, I could be I Auntie, mm-hmm. Auntie, I don't know, depends on your regional oh. dialect. Mm-hmm. But okay. she's the one behind all of this. I see. Crying like. sexual. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. I guess there's a meeting in the ladies' room. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 
Um, auntie or auntie climax. Okay. I mean, there's two different things there, mm, right? Yeah, like, well, if we're talking like auntie, I'm gunned down with her. But if it's the other, then we need to destroy it. Well, it's not <laughs> our the things. It's not our auntie is the mm, thing. So that? that's I mean, like you know. Sometimes Look. people in power take wild names. And she's just still like buckling up, getting ready. She's like, look, that's the name I've heard from some of these guards, depending on where they come from. Some of them from Kashmar, some are from other places. It, uh, it's all depending on their accent. I don't know. I'm just telling you what I heard before I passed out from hunger. Thanks to whoever healed me. Do you and your wife have a safe way to get out of here? Oh yes, we the did she bring you all in a cart? What did she do? Yes. Yes. Actually there was a cart. Uh, we're taking that cart. We have go bags. We're getting out. So you're saying that oh. we don't have a ride out of here. I mean, we sort of have rooms here. For like a week. Two weeks. Two. Exactly. Yeah. It had a very nice. If you club. look, if you really need to escape, find Fane. His bar his bird will find us. Oh, the bird. bird. <laughs> All of you forgot about the bird. Baby. No, I didn't forget me. about the bird. I was just waiting <laughs> for a, a proper line. comedic moment for it. Yeah, yeah. This is bird, bird. Yeah, We're just waiting yeah. for it to come back. <laughs> so, knowing what you know, um, with that and with that wisdom, she really does smoke bomb out. Do you all, do you all want to deal with the vampire, ignore the vampire, or do you want to go for this new person that you just heard about? Are vampires generally like bad? Sorry, like my noobness might be showing here. We, no. We've left the we've left the vampire. We we've left the person that we couldn't figure out what they were in their cage, right? Correct. You have not freed the vampire. Um, I mean, they may Hello? know as much as anyone else. Thank you. Ricky. Hello, Thank are you, you are you awake? Can we help you? Are you good? Do you want to stay here? Are you napping? That's fine. I understand. It's daytime. Well, it's dark enough that's, for the vampire is okay. Um, and then you just hear like a horrible. Oh, what do you see? Oh. <laughs> now put, calm all that down, vampire. <laughs> calm, calm that right we, down. We, we ain't we ain't put you here. Okay. Like, Listen, like, like we clearly no let these two you. out. Oh, Look, wait, the vampire... wait, is, wait, is this the person? Is this the, the figure, like the humanoid figure I heard that has a rest as something in their throat? <gasps> yep. Well, I'm not reaching in its mouth to get it. <laughs> That's a vampire. <laughs> the, the, the thing in its throat might be a radic caught to, to get blood. Oh, that's wait, fair. Wait, okay. again? Honestly, you got to do you. you know? uh, I mean, the vampires need blood and it caught a rat. The rat didn't quite make it up. It's basically like when you get a little food stuck in your throat. Oh. Because, oh. Were they, does it appear that they were feeding the vampire what, what they need? Or, I mean, a place um, as pointed as this should obviously have five-star vampire slave service. So, obviously. You right. Know. Um, You do notice some littered vials and things like that where it was, it looks like they were like rolling, like rolled in a vial or jar of blood to it occasionally, but no one got close enough for it to be fed on. So it has not had fresh blood in quite a while. Okay. So it's it's getting a little feral. I don't. I, Ricky, do, I, does anyone have? Um, does anyone have um something? Uh, that, I mean, I, well, like we could come back, you know, when everything's done. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you hang out here? <laughs> um. I mean. Honestly, uh, it's not like it's it's honestly not like a vampire is going to be ready for the corpses too anytime soon. So yeah, but you know what? We could take like, the vampire and throw it down the chute. But there, well, there's only one living person that we also threw down the chute, and that's sort of dooming them to the vampire. Well, that's huh? fair, but we don't I know that there's not fire. No, that there was an escape <laughs> plan. In there could just be a fire, like 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 a like a a fire it's, pit at the bottom of it. So I mean, it really, we, it's fifty fifty. Like we could help or hinder. It's what if um, we put it so wait, if you were when when you're hope. testing mass healing why wouldn't it get the thing stuck out of yes. its throat it's it's oh. undead it's because it's undead yeah it's undead that's still yeah. uncomfortable 
I agree. No, I agree. I wish yeah. my like I don't it's have undead. I love yeah. that about undead, and it's, that's that's my favorite rule about undead. Like it's just um, the reverse. They get to be uncomfortable, and that's sad for them. Yeah, yeah as someone playing a dump here in another game, healing mm-hmm. is not always fun. Um, but a dump here is also different. Um, so do you what do you all what would you all like to do with this vampire really, leave it there yeah we slowly fade into the shadows as we're like oh should we do something i don't know oh. i mean no i guess we'll probably come back this way okay Ooh. Bye. Ooh. i mean i could always uh and I'll, I'll get close to the vampire if you want i can banish you to another plane of existence your choice but I mean, if you banish it's something a good choice it'll come right back in like five in a minute won't it Oh, I mean, yes, but that's <laughs> only that's all that we've got right now for you. I mean, it's how better the you... trash, the the the, <laughs> or the we can... corpse, corpse, or we can leave them. Or we can leave you, right? Like three, you're real, you're really looking at three options here. Like, the vampire's nobody... gone feral. It's not going to be able to answer you in any intelligible way. Uh, like I said, we'll for, whatever, for whatever reason, they are taking care of the vampire as a prisoner. It may not be the freshest blood, but it's getting, they're getting something. Can I cast, can I cast calm emotions? Ooh. Does it have emotions? Ooh. Can I calm it down? So we can talk uh, to this thing. It has emotion. I love that. Double check, because I don't know if calm emotions works on undead. That's interesting. Why though. wouldn't I like the thought? Does, no, I, I, I don't does know. Work I on, yeah, it does work on undead. It works on creature. So. Right. Um, um you know, sure. A square point within a range must make a, a charisma saving throw. A creature can choose to fail saving throw if it wishes. Um, if a creature fails its saving throw, choose one of the following into effects. You can suppress any effect causing the target to be charmed or frightened. When the spell ends, any suppressed effect resumes, provided its duration has not expired in the meantime. Alternatively, you can make a target indifferent about creatures of your choice and that that it is hostile towards. This indifference ends if the target is attacked or harmed by a spell or if it witnesses any of its friends being harmed. When the spell ends, the creature becomes hostile again unless the DM rules otherwise. I would like to calm the vampire, please. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll and see what I do, or I may choose to fail it. Just it says the save, the attack save is 16. Yes, um, for the sake of both time and expedience, I may choose to fail depending on what I roll. Um, I actually did fail it. I I hey. actually did fail it. I only got 14. So, uh, the vampire is just like it, like stops hissing and just kind of looks at you. Okay. So can oh, we talk to it now? <laughs> you can. I don't know how it's going to answer because it is it is a bit feral, but go ahead. Yeah. So can you tell us how, how you got here? And it just kind of tilts its head and looks at you and sniffs because it can smell new living blood. Captured. Well, uh, listen, we are here to rescue some people. If we were to let you out, is there any guarantee that you wouldn't attack all of those living people that are still out there? Or maybe while you're nice and calm. But new blood. I don't think we should let it out. Okay, I think we'll see you on the way back out. Thank you so much. I think I think think we'll just ask for information if we can get information out of it for this next minute. This oh that's right that's not how long it lasts yeah, yeah. <laughs> perfect um so do you want to because right now if the vampire was let out it wouldn't bother any of you right right but no telling what would happen that's if it got on the main worse. floor of the casino yeah do we need a distraction though because I'm kind of um, here for oh. it <laughs> so I as mean... actually as Sylvester says that you start to hear alarm klaxons. Actually, uh, we can blame the vampire, and then we get to stay in our rooms. I do love I, a class. I think that at the worst, that's a good idea. Let's go. I like it. <laughs> Let's go. Let's I do it. Beryl, if you wouldn't mind opening the door, please. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to break the door. Oh, I didn't roll that's super high. I'm still a 17. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's... Nothing on Beryl today. Okay. That, that totally... I mean, an 18 wrecked the other door. The door, <laughs> like crumbles in from the force of your blow it's yeah. this is not a well-maintained prison block just so you know. then they I'm put gonna, all their money in the infrastructure of the just, casino 
gently put my hands on the vampire and say, we're letting you out. If you hurt any of my friends, I will turn your head into a twist off bottle cap. She's so sweet. I love that. Also, if you happen to come across somebody named Anticlimax, just go ahead and eat her. That's fine. You have permission. <laughs> that does seem, yeah, that would certainly yeah, solve agreed. all of our problems. Yeah, I mean, yeah. so actually, when you say the words, well, oh, oh no, they're always listening. No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> Wait, are we the always listening part? That's the part secret not the word for the day. <laughs> it's, it's, it's almost like the Manchurian candidate activation word when you say no. that. No. no, oh no, that is a deep no. cut for y'all. Right, <laughs> and so the vampire like looks at Beryl and then looks at you when you say that, Ricky. Kill her, uh huh? If, if you want, we can. Where? Oh, oh, we d- uh, probably. Do you know further inside? Probably this that way. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And then the vampire like. Amazing. grins at you all it's very creepy because vampire and it's it's fat you know like when when you see skulls of things in cartoons and the fangs are always super elongated because it's a skull of something mm. the vampire's fangs look ridiculously long in this little light because oh now they're just like i can drink blood if i kill her because oh, yeah. fancy climax is who captured the vampire there you go gotcha rules. full circle and they start sniffing the air and then they start going down the passageway that you all could see but hadn't gone down yet. Okay, good. Okay, and have they fun. Just, they they just wrap, just let they them just. Go. Oh, you're not going to go with the no, vampire. I think we probably no, should just to make it. follow oh, follow okay. at a, follow at a respectful, safe, and observational distance because this is yeah. drama, and now mm. we're here for it. Oh, that's right. let's watch. <laughs> like I'll I grab my drink, which mysteriously came with me. Just, <laughs> of course it did. Okay. We all have drinks. <laughs> Uh, fucking down um, the at, the, hallway, right? at the end of this hallway, <laughs> because of my clairvoyance, I saw another door. Mm, so we're correct, you did. Door. Yes. <laughs> I wrote this down. <laughs> you see, you're this is smartness that I don't yeah. have. Easy like, that's there how you we go. got to level like, 10 because of yeah. it keeps it together. <laughs> Amani is the glue. Yep, yep. <laughs> and also the healer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, too, yes. so, so here's the thing the vampire being a vampire can turn incorporeal and go through things because they're a vampire oh that will be troublesome and so the vampire you see them like go poof and they're through the door you I all however get out of their prison <laughs> <laughs> you no know, because there was a magic restraint right Barely yes. went inside. These thoughts. And that DM Lodge rat was met, was ensorcelled and she couldn't use her. <laughs> and, and if I would have, and if I would have teleported in, I would have been stuck. So you yeah. would have had to break the door anyway. That's right. Also, DM logic. I said so. Uh, <laughs> so be, you know, for DMC reasons, we are not going to actually do this. But you hear the strains of a group that you've only heard of, that you hear tale of. You don't think may even be real anymore. But they're known in Faerun and the other planes as A B B A. Uh-huh. And you hear Gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> uh actually, no, not that. You hear winner takes it all. Ah. Uh, sure. I don't want to talk. Also a bop. <laughs> sure. I <said> um, <laughs> you hear it and then takes it all. <laughs> and then uh all of you give me an investigation check please oh. now i'm just get, that's the rest of my day by the way just so you know oh okay natural 20 natural 20 Yay! Yay! 20. Yo, i ain't rolled above a 10 yet today i got <laughs> an eight i got a dirty 20 i'm i'll take it nice 14 be abba all day now abba. You. all right did anyone get under 14 yes i got an eight <laughs> <laughs> well, well. All right, so you know, I I will say the group got enough yeah. of, a, of a score, especially those couple nat twenties. We you That's see a, a <laughs> you notice that instead of a handle or a lock, there's three gaps into the door. At each on the way out, on the way in, so the the, the door that the vampire bamf through. Oh, I see. Um, so what you see is there's no handle there's no nothing there except for these three gaps in the door 
and there's a metal clamp, you know, like it's supposed to hold something to your left. Oh, Tesla. Oh, no. Oh, Wait, the timing. Okay, oh, actually, okay. Re rewind us a, back a bit to the to left. The, what now? The left. To the left, yeah. Okay, so to the left is a rack of test tubes. They're okay. all empty. Oh, no. I didn't I write it, I swear to somebody God. Somebody hold Ricky I'm back. So <laughs> oh, this is the hold moment. <laughs> so, and then to the right are four red vats with taps. Each is marked differently. You may want to write this down. Oh, one geez. with O, one with A, one with B, and one with A, B. Oh, blood. oh dear. It's blood. That sounds like blood. <laughs> Why it did is. Empire run ahead? They're an expert. Well, I don't think they ran ahead. Otherwise, they would just drink the solution. That's true. Yeah. Why would they skip past the blood? They were in They're a hurry. They, I told they you, really Manchuri, want anti. It's Manchuri not candidate bad. activation yeah. word. So. So you have three test tubes, four taps, and a rack of vials. Okay. Uh, oh. Well, based on this, we're same, same brain. Yes. You got oh, just uh, got yes. It. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yep. I feel, yeah, yes, Sylvester. Girl. Okay. Sylvester and Ricky sort of look at each other and start grabbing test tubes and then going over to the vials to start like filling them in a bit. Uh, mm -hmm. And so Ricky fills the first one with the A type. Okay. Blip, 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 blip. And then looks at Sylvester. And Sylvester actually takes that vial from Ricky and and says, do the do the A B one next. Mm. And then <laughs> does blip 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 A B hands it over. Okay. okay. I'm gonna there's look three there's three slots in the door. What's your third vial? And then finally Ricky takes the B type. Blip 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 blip. And hands it over. I think you know what to do, Sylvester. You heard yes. it. So we're going to take the the A B vial first, which was done the other. Yeah, like the order. Yeah, sorry. Which, because yeah, so no, it's fine because we have flawless memories at level ten. Obviously, <laughs> I don't write things down. You um, it. <laughs> you you, you, you oh. have a level nineteen character. You should know better. <laughs> Oh, dear. Out. Um, so using the AB, <laughs> using the AB vial first, and then the B vial, and mm -hmm. then the A vial in this weird, the three red liquid door needing thing. <laughs> this is weird, and it needs to be said. Okay. <laughs> look, I again for anyone, I don't know why I'm, I'm so weird. trained to look up. I looked up, and there's nothing there but a curtain. Uh, <laughs> I'm so trying to look above my monitor. Um, I repeat, I did not write this adventure. So this, this is, is in it. Brilliant. This is brilliant. Yes. I love this. This is in it. This is in it. I did not make this up. Mm -hmm. So what order are you putting them in? Uh, we're going with A, B, then B, mm -hmm. then A. Uh, you hear the door unlock. Oh, Sylvester, you are the dancing queen. It's true. I am. Only 17. And I wish. Oh, my God. <laughs> and what you see is a wide chamber and the vampire kind of frozen in an attack and anticlimax just standing there grinning. Oh, poor bar. Okay, I I have something I really want to say about this and I'm not going to. Okay. <laughs> say it, say it, say okay, it. now you have to. I mean, I'm yeah, sorry. sometimes to. sometimes when you're frozen right before satisfaction, it really does kind of suck. Oh, he, are you we on the edge? Auntie but again um, cries an asexual. Yeah. Oh, cool. oh, oh my god. Oh, Wait, say that's that again, Beryl, because that was awesome. I'm gonna say you might be an auntie, but I'm gonna make you say uncle. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh my. Okay. Uh, one knee before she can stop herself and then like stands up and is like, never mind, let's yeah, get it. That's the time, not the time. <laughs> so I'm going to come out across the board and just... <laughs> uh, I'm going to describe uh, Auntie for you. Ba Auntie, a.k.a. Beryl Streep. I swear to God, that's... <gasps> Did you say Beryl Streep? I said Beryl Streep. That's Beryl. my drag name. Holy How crap. dare she... Uh. <laughs> I wonder if that was connection to the ABBA thing. This is the gayest adventure <laughs> I have played in a long time. And I approval, love it. My approval score is high here. Vince the Hall stole oh. my stage name. <laughs> Let's get her. Wow. Let's get her. <laughs> so, so before, like before you roll initiative, before you roll initiative, 
you do notice in the room that there are more vials and potions and everything all filled with blood <gasps> and every few bottles are labeled auntie's keep off ew uh, we don't like a greedy bitch like what's going on yeah. Is he draining the prisoners for blood oh dear um maybe Oh, and, oh so we figured out why they keep them. That explains why she keeps them alive. Yeah, what, does, yeah. what, does auntie, what does Auntie look like? Um, auntie has Auntie looks very undead. She's wearing. <laughs> she's it's a so, It's like me in the morning. Um, stop. Um, <laughs> she's got long silver hair that comes down um, almost past her chest, and she's wearing a blood red evening gown and stole that matches. Oh, and dear. ruby ruby heels and she it looks like she's wearing basically a harness the dress is strapless but you see the top of the harness over it and her nails come out in very long black talons almost and if you didn't know better it would look like she's wearing like glasses but they're slid down like a librarian almost it is Miranda Priestley <laughs> and she, she looks at you you're not supposed to be here well, I also don't appreciate she's like dressed like me. Oh yeah, right. Rude. Seriously, this totally. Was, I just got that style. <laughs> we got one she's person stealing names, like someone stealing outfits. <laughs> right, exactly. Names, outfits, race. Like I'm a tiefling. This is not okay. Everyone's just taking <laughs> something from us. We yeah. I'm gonna um, take out my great axe and say I call this one the DMCA strike. <laughs> Meryl, are you attacking? Written. Yes. <laughs> All right, roll initiative. Yes. Oh no! Oh, no. I roll finished initiative. my. CA. I told you there was going to be. Uh, so you I get your attack in first. Uh, so Barrel's going to get in that that surprise attack. Kind of surprise, but you mm. know what? Roll it cool, and everyone roll initiative, and we'll go after Barrel's attack. Sure. Uh, roll it for me. Um, I have a new question. Yes. My character sheet says minus one initiative. What does that yeah, mean? Yeah, mine does too. You see, the dexterity is very bad. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. your dex is low. Whatever you roll, it'll it'll take one it'll, from it. Yeah, yeah. I'm so that means that you'll I just be behind someone. That's I, on I, initiative. I rolled a one. Um, <gasps> like I, up for it. I have advantage. So then I'm gonna hit her. I'm gonna declare this first attack as a reckless attack. So okay. I get advantage on my attacks for this turn. Do it. Um, and I'm gonna enter a rage. She stole my name. Wow, wow. that's right. Let's go. All right, let's hit it. You you don't have to um, roll it and tell me what you get, and I will tell you if it hits. Okay, I got 23. Oh, yeah, you absolutely hit her. <laughs> and on the second one, I got a 25. Oh, yeah, you both of these hit, and then what is your bonus since you are raging? Um, I'll get a plus three to damage. All right, uh, roll me some damage. And everyone else, oh. please put your initiative in the chat. The first one is a 12, and okay. the second one is a 13. Ooh, you do some damage to Auntie. You actually see the strap of, of her harness, like one of the straps, like, just totally, like, cracks from the force of your blow. But because she is not quite natural, she isn't healing, but you see, like, the cuts you made start to slowly knit together but she's not getting any health back okay it's just gross it's gross it's, it's, <laughs> it's nasty okay um are you doing anything else while you were in rage and doing your reckless attack nope that's it she has advantage against me now um i need to roll for her uh give me your uh initiative as well um, she only got a 13. We rolled bad. We did. <laughs> <laughs> we rolled real well, Sylvester didn't, but the rest of us rolled bad. <laughs> We're just yeah, slow. My favorite, a 20 on initiative. It's I'm my finishing. favorite. I'm finishing my drink. <laughs> yeah, I think we all are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Two seconds, Auntie, two seconds. <laughs> I thought the vampire would last longer. <laughs> wow. We came to watch. I don't know. This is romantic thematic. <laughs> <laughs> um so while i do that while i get initiative order it is sylvester it is your turn <laughs> oh my gosh um <laughs> um 
Well, yeah, considering that this is just, I, this is, I, there's a lot going on. <laughs> um, but Sylvester looks, takes in this whole scene and just, um, I'm sorry, I also saw the message in chat, uh, $5.69 right now and we hit the goal, so. Hey. $5? What? If oh, every five dollars away, oh, if everyone, everyone in chat, chat donated oh. five dollars sixty nine cents. So empty your pockets, go under the couch, root around, you don't and need stuff. Need to get that Starbucks. Put up your bus money. That's right. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, Sylvester's going to open hard with. Um, I added this because I've never even heard of it. Ralphim's psychic lance. Oh yeah. Ooh. 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 Um, that is. Hold on a second. That is a. Um, Int save intelligence of 15 and da, 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 da. you must make an intelligence saving throw on a failed save. It takes damage and is incapacitated on a successful save. It takes half as much and isn't incapacitated. Um, and that is a 15. Correct. Come on, bad dice. Work with me this time. Sorry. Uh. I, I brought my Grey Warden dice and Auntie got a nat 20. No. Okay. Um, all right. Well, that's still that's still fine. Sylvester rips off the the rips off the the sash that has been sequined in diamond, and actually kind of says, "Are you wearing the?" and whips it forward, and this lance strikes yes. forward from him. Yeah. And um, that is going to be so cool. Half as much of oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of D's. Uh, that's going to be fifteen. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of. I realized it when I said it, and I'm not sorry. <laughs> um, uh, that's going to be 15 psychic damage because you said they take half, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Sorry, you said they saved. Uh, so yes, 15 psychic damage, and just yeah, this this as the sequence go out, the like this silvery beam keeps going uh, along them towards uh, towards their kind of like right in their forehead. Okay, that's going to leave a mark. <laughs> Good, because that's not couture. Wow, you really are going for the fashion. It's not an Hermes. Going, I am going with the adventure as written, and I feel like I'm in my element now. Right? Yes. Not, okay. She was not invited to buy a Birkin bag. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, is that all of what you're doing? <laughs> wow, is that, uh, is that um, all of your actions, Sylvester? Let me double check that, because I'm always bad at remembering that I can do things. Um, Oh, uh, and <laughs> oh, and also <laughs> you got there. And another thing. Yes, and another one runs and back in the room. And another thing. <laughs> um, just um, looks looks over to um. Oh wait, I forgot to see the initiative board. It doesn't matter actually. Oh wait, I have um, it here. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um. Uh huh. Looks over to Beryl, who is actually in close in close quarters. And just screams, you got this. And it's a bardic inspiration for you. Yes. Uh, that is going to be a D10. Yes. All right. Um, you all good, Sylvester? Yes, I think I remembered everything I can do. Yay me. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> um, unfortunately for Beryl, it is Auntie's turn. Um, what is Beryl's armor class? 17. All right. Even while I'm naked, which is what I know about Barbie. Damn. Love I thought it. you That's the wrong, naked. That's the wrong saying. is giving. That's, That's the wrong is giving. Okay. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Like, giving. Uh, I'm just like from somewhere in in Waterdeep, you heard Salise go, what? <laughs> <laughs> um well, I that Nat 20 took all the luck out of this guy. I failed. Yeah. yeah. I, you gotta burn so, it out somewhere. <laughs> So Auntie like does a swipe at you and she utterly fails. Um and I'm trying to think let me see really quick if she has more than one attack. I don't think she does. Um she does have legendary action, so oh I hate that word. Yeah, because Leg- even with even with the bonus, she did not hit you. Oh. More like, like leg that. and dairy. Yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah. I only rolled a four, so I wasn't gonna hit Beryl. I love the way. drag race insult. Those yeah. Are- yeah. <laughs> so, while after she like slashes at you and misses, 
she like kind of gets distracted for a split second by all the blood around her oh, and it realizes uh. there's six fresh sources of blood in her reach and uh sylvester since you attacked her she's she's come take a bite out of you buddy <gasps> what is your armor class i don't like the way you asked that question <laughs> i'm a little bit offended by the insinuation it's 13. <laughs> Better hope I roll low. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, oh that is a dirty 20 on a yeah, month. I, just, I get so used to the question from the GM, does a number yeah. here hit? It, the, yeah. the way you ask that, I'm like, wait, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't know. <laughs> I'm changing things up. <laughs> um, well, that's, yeah, that's that's definitely whatever that is. <laughs> um, that is six piercing and also... Uh-oh. Um, too necrotic on Sylvester. Oh, ew. Um, okay, Action. I don't have anything to any of that. Okay. Because, so, so I have a spirit shield because, like, my rage comes from a spirit that's haunting me. Okay. <laughs> Which is a goblin that's really mean to me. Mm -hmm. So the goblin pops out and is like, You got to have your hobies back and, like, comes forward. And I reduce your damage taken by 3d6. Oh, nice. That's yes. probably more than you just took. Yeah. Uh, let me see. If so, do you roll the 3d6? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, roll. Oh, yeah, 12. Yeah, you... Oh, we'll just bump this, that right back up. Thank this, you. Goblin, <laughs> this goblin saved your bacon. Yeah. Um, And uh, Auntie is annoyed by that, and she turns into a... No, I, that's not... I can't do that yet. Sorry. I almost... I know you said that goblin is mean, but that was really nice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um... So she's going to invoke source of strength of will as a legendary action to not get distracted by all of this young, fresh blood around her. And that is her turn. Mm. And next up is Zan. Uh, the minute she went after Beryl, Zan just like stiffened <laughs> up like fire in her eyes. <laughs> and so she doesn't move. She just lifts a finger and points at Auntie oh, and is oh. like, the Don't point? <laughs> Dare. And I curse her with my Hexblade curse. Oh, um, what does that do? Oh, lots of things. The first thing it does is it allows me to teleport up to 30 feet to get in her face immediately. So I'm going to oh. do that. Oh, uh, that. And when I get there, I'm going to reach out and I'm going to grab that flail that I was showing off to Beryl earlier, except when I pull it out this time, the head of the flail, it looks like the um, shattered diamond. Ooh, cool. Head. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and then I'm gonna hit her with it because. <laughs> okay. Because that's how you. Roll. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to hit her with it. Don't jinx it, huge. Okay. Uh, the first swing is mother of pearl. It's a twelve. <laughs> uh, that, that is a swing and a miss. It's fine. It's a warm up swing. I get two. Let's do it again. Oh my god, it was almost another two, but this time it was a 28. Ooh. Oh yeah, that one absolutely hits her. Glorious. Let me you gotta just get in your, sure. You gotta get in your element. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta get Yeah, there. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just needed to get warmed up. It's fine. Great, so that's 13 plus 4 is 17 damage. Wow. Ooh, Auntie's looking kind of rough. Yeah, well, she went after Beryl. Perhaps yeah. we were not the ones to mess with today. Right. She <laughs> might be in the find out portion of the show. Where are they? Right. <laughs> That's right. Uh, yeah, she's looking a little rough because she's trying to focus on y'all. She is not running for any of the blood that could easily sate her and help her out. So, <laughs> If only a voice in her head would remind her of that. I don't know. <laughs> Amazing. That, that same voice in her head is also watching the clock. So no, she's good. <laughs> <laughs> uh imani you're up question for um the blood i don't know if this i don't know if this will work um i have the ability for control water can uh -huh. I break all the can i destroy all the blood around there can i do like blood bending like blood bend. <laughs> that's great you know what rule of cool let roll it and i'll tell you how successful you are and if this works, you all need to give donations because that's really cool. That's really yeah. cool. Well, that's superior because that's a natural 20. Yes! Oh! Uh, Let's so go. And blood this... bending was born. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so because you realized it was not a good idea. <laughs> um, so 
tell us what you shattering these vials and bottles of blood looks like. Well, I am going to take full inspiration from Avatar because obviously. So I get into like a, a Tai Chi stance because water bendings uh, was inspired by Tai Chi. People don't know that. Um, and I just start to move kind of like flow like waves and then just pull toward me and all the and pull all the blood down to me and then just spread it everywhere. Oh, not, yeah. on, the group, not on the group away from us because we look really fly. OK, so thank you. So thank you. Spread it out. <laughs> so, it, so I'm imagining like there's a bubble around the group mm. that keeps you all clean and dry and looking like really nice. But Auntie is surrounded by this blood, but because she invoked strength of will she actually is not distracted by her hunger for now mm -hmm. but, her but i source, took her source away yeah mm -hmm. took her source away so she she's looking rough and unless she's going to get on the floor and lap up blood um am i allowed to am i allowed to do something else uh if, if you did a spell you can't do an attack at the same time what about a cantrip no, because then that's two spells in one turn. Do you have any bonus actions? Or reactions? Or bonus action, I should say. I don't think so. A good uh, but turn it nonetheless. It was a great yeah, turn. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, oh, that was okay. <laughs> um, all right, Imani. Also, if she gets on the floor and laps up the blood, I feel like we should just win, because that's human. <laughs> <laughs> if she is truly, then she is truly gagging, and we need to go. Okay. <laughs> You know, she might be distracted in that act. If, if we have wait, time if, to go get a drink, she's done. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And does me doing what I do distract the frozen vampire at all? Oh, does oh. react in any kind of way? Um, I, I didn't I'm gonna, her name. They don't have yeah, a name. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm going to roll and see if that is the case. Uh, but next up is Ricky. Yeah. I'm going to roll and see what I get to see whether or not the vampire's is is no longer held because i'm it's safe to say auntie's no longer concentrating mm. uh yeah that's a good point and then as imani is sort of doing this amazing flowing blood bending thing the camera pans down to ricky just underneath her sort of taking cover in the swirling robes uh and you can see that he pulls out uh, what seems to be like a gel disc of some sort and then you see him crack it and then shake it a little bit if you were to look closely, you could see it slowly start to get like redder and redder and brighter and red hot as if it's gaining heat. And yes. then he sort of aims a little bit and then flicks it out at the glasses that uh, Auntie Climax is wearing. And this is Ricky casting heat metal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's... Well, what is, I, is there uh, any save or it just is a sale it sale just so sale. initially it takes 2d8 fire damage and then it has to make a save if it wants to take off the item that it's wearing <gasps> oh, oh my god that's amazing otherwise it continues to take 2d8 fire damage oh, which i believe may be pretty good against something undead <laughs> i don't know what you <laughs> yeah mean. um what's the dc if i want to try to take these glasses off uh it looks like do, 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 Constitution saving throw or drop the object. So that would be a 14. Constitution. Ooh, I did not make it. So it's staying attached. They're too hot to take off. Ooh, Ooh Auntie, Auntie is starting to have the I'm melting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me roll some damage real quick. So nine points of fire damage initially, and then it's okay. still heated. Okay, she, she's now fully... This is like, you know, for a woman who talked a lot of shit when y'all walked in there, she's literally rolling on the ground, <laughs> batting, batting, <laughs> batting at the glasses. Like, y'all are gonna... What? <laughs> Basically. Gonna, what? What did you say? <laughs> right, yeah. I couldn't hear you. Uh, but Zephry, it is your turn. All right, I am going to... I don't have a lot of defensive... So I'm going to, oh, I'm not damaged at all. Shit. So I can't do that. Um, <laughs> I thought she would hit me. Um, oh, yeah, know. right. No, uh, I'm just going to fire bolter. Okay. Yeah. Um, is there a save or you just roll in the hit? You hurl a mote of fire at the creature or object. Your range spell attack on hit. On um, hit. 
yeah. So 14 plus my modifier is 21. Um, that definitely hits her. Yes. All right. Bam. I hit her for um, 12 points of damage. Ooh. Oh, oh, this is mm. next one. Next hit could be it, y'all. We did this in one initiative. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I look, it. if it works out, I you all doing like ridiculous damage. Mm. Barrel, do your thing. You're ridiculous people. Oh, yeah. the best this is a ways. surprise attack. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're in a casino. I'm gonna go high money. I'm gonna make a great weapon master attack. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. So, <laughs> I take a negative five penalty to the roll, but the attack will do plus 10 damage if it hits. <laughs> okay. Okay. And don't then forget that, don't forget that inspiration. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a D10. Just saying. D10. Really really D10. quickly, we hit $3,000. <gasps> hey. Did Thank we have so much? Let's go. Could we have advantage on this roll for reaching the goal, Tanya? Sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what we had the we raised a thousand dollars in less than three hours we can do what we want <laughs> so do it the first one's at 13 i'm gonna use my bardic inspo die yeah okay let's see we haven't really found a target number quite oh. yet does a 15 hit no but remember you get advantage because okay. we have a goal okay okay let me see let me try again. Oh, wait, no, I'm rolling the wrong thing. I'm getting confused. I'm getting flustered. Okay. Yeah. Or actually, roll first, but I just thought of, I remembered something because of what Xander did. So go ahead. Oh, 16. Ooh. Yes, because remember, she is flailing and rolling on the ground trying to put out those fiery okay. metal glasses. Okay, flat-footed. Okay, okay, okay. She is absolutely unable to dodge your attack. Oh. Uh, barrel, to steal a phrase from our friend Matt, how do you want uh -huh. to do this? Oh, yeah. Uh, yay. I, I got to roll damage just for fun, though. So that. Oh, yeah, do know, it. Plus three, 14. So I do 24 damage. <laughs> oh, my God. So while uh, I'm flailing around on the floor, I just take my great axe and just chop her head off Skyrim style. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, let's go. Yeah. And she's a vampire. So. Oh, uh, right. Oh, right. Bye. So, yeah, that's. What you see is as her head kind of rolls away, because, you know, I would say that you she's she's an erectus of horror and fear, except those glasses have basically burned up her face. <laughs> it's really bad. It's really bad. Um, the body's twitching and the vampire, you know, at the moment her head rolls away, it lands and sees her body twitching, sees all the blood on the floor. Five second rule, it's still good for you, right? Oh no, the vampire just goes for her body. It's like that's blood, that's fresh yeah. blood. So vampire vampire's hand and the rest of your lightweight. Um oh, and if yeah, that was an Oreo, I'd eat it. Let's go. Hello. <laughs> oh my god. What? <laughs> I'm just uh, commiserating with the vampire. Come on. Hmm. Oh, Misty. Um, but you have you have killed Auntie. Woo. And as you know, as you all are wallowing, not wallowing, celebrating your victory, mm -hmm. some staffers come in and they take in the scene. It's and not then what it looks just, like. <laughs> no, they are they are quite efficient. There was a contingency plan should Auntie ever be burst into flames, killed, or wandered in the sunlight. So what actually happens? is one of them snaps their fingers a cleanup crew starts coming in they ignore the vampire because they see the vampires eating they they don't care and the cleanup crew starts and then um someone in a and mask says sorry sorry about that <laughs> sorry sorry so sorry sorry, sorry about that no, they're 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 just like eh, it's Can not the most no, 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 I'm not doing that. I'm yeah, still on no. vacation. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a five they're, point. They're called, that's staff. A five point. They're called staff for a reason. Rescind. So they, the, um, one of them, like, in a mask and a very opulent outfit comes up to the six of you. Which one of you took care of, of the trash? Oh, does this have, like, an end of the Wizard of Oz feel to it? Like, where they're, like, super happy now? Oh, yeah. Okay. Good. Oh, okay. Then we sort of look at Barrel. Yeah. 
And I'm that just that, like, very matter of factly, there's only one Barrel Streep. I copyrighted that name like five years ago for <laughs> drag persona I have. <laughs> no. And that, Shit. like, I'm sorry I had to take just her out, can't. but you know, you know, DMC EA rules are in effect here. It is an actionable copyright. Mm. Now, you my lawyer explained down. something about how I would actionable it. I didn't understand any of that. So I thought this is what you do. <laughs> and <she> um, perfect. <laughs> yes. She is. Yes, Zan, yes. she is. <laughs> hey, Zan, that's like kind of a blatant hint that yes, oh, she yeah. Is. It's the moment. Zan. Z Zan's like, what moment? Uh, <laughs> Are, no. Never mind. I give a I give a little <laughs> sniffle, like because I feel like what's what coming is gonna make me sad. Oh, Zephyr, are you okay? It was oh my like God. it was there and then gone. Yeah. <laughs> it was like right there. Maybe wow. I might be okay now. <laughs> um, but then there they so this person snaps their fingers and they come in with a slight chest and hand it to Beryl, and they wave their hand and it opens. It's the D to the casino. Love that. Beryl, you're a businesswoman. We can live here now. <laughs> yes, we're the operations. We never can have to leave. Keep... Beryl, we can, can live here sweet? forever. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then when once all the paperwork is in there, you freed us of the tyranny. Hopefully you'll keep paying us the same. We have good benefits. Um, and then and if not, we have friends in Waterdeep that can help you run a business. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I basically sign anything that's put in front of me. <laughs> okay, all right. Sorry. Okay, we have to slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, <laughs> slow down, slow down. We, we have questions about the operations, and we have questions oh. about the, the, the things and the, the losing and the, the, the corpse shoot yeah, that's and bomb. the bodies um, and the thing. We have well, questions about all of that. I hire so... you as my general manager, and I will be... Uh, <laughs> Fig I'll be a figure that doesn't actually do anything but owns the <laughs> casino. Oh, can we send someone down to get the person you sent down the corpse? Uh, oh God, where yeah, does that, that lead? Does anyone know where that leads? Yeah, tell me it's not fire. Tell me it doesn't go tell to the fudge room. Not fire. No, no, and and you know they just go, you know, it's and basically they in this chest is like the keys, and basically word is spreading magically that you six are now the people in charge. It oh. barrel owns it, but you six now own the right. casino. Well, as my first decree is one sixth of a casino owner, a feast for everyone featuring our favorite ingredient, Fortuna. Oh, I, I love tuna that. for everyone. Right. So, is, wait, so is tuna an actual thing or is tuna. it Fortuna? I'm really confused now. I really tuna. It was mentioned on the ride over, and now it. I'm really lost about this. We're just gonna okay. find out together. So, which is our my favorite. <laughs> So basically, when you walk out, it's kind of like this clapping, thanking you, and you know they lead you to this palatial suite that did belong to Auntie when she was kind of oh. sort of human, and you know all of the people you've met are there waiting on you. It's a very end of Dragon Age Inquisition like feeling. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, who, uh, let them, who let them into our suite? I would like to know that first. <laughs> <laughs> for us. They'll be gone shortly. Okay, that's that's what I need to know. Okay. And um making a lot of money, <laughs> saving the casino, saving uh your new friend's wife is where we're gonna wrap this adventure because we're a time. Yay! Fun. Yay! Oh, oh, thank my you. Yes. Thank hey Beryl. You. Yeah. Uh? <gasps> Oh, I just want to be a, inherit my part of the casino. <laughs> it got complicated. She's wow. Not wow. Not a, not, you want me for a, my money. I oh. want you for your axe. And your money. Your, I'm not. I quit. I'll whisper to Zan, you've ruined it for both of us. <laughs> wow. Was it going to be a triad here? Just no, last no, 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 I mean, She's I now left. Yeah. Yeah. standing. It's this casino now. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. She Flexible. pops the question, now that I'm a millionaire heiress. <laughs> wow. If only she figured out what Ricky was talking about 15 minutes mm. earlier. Uh. All right, but you all, you all saved the Yay. day. Congratulations. Oh, that was an awesome adventure. That is yeah. so fun. That was, that was so fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was a yeah. lot fun. I we hope you had fun. Yeah. Yes. We had the goal. Um, I, could, I can see the stream on my phone. So... 
thank you all for joining. Thank you all for helping us hit a goal of over a thousand dollars in three hours. Thank Woo! you so much. Amazing. Um, thank you all for agreeing to play this with me and thank you for pausing having us. Yeah. anytime and all yeah. the chaos. <laughs> all the chaos. Was, chaos <laughs> yeah. the part. I was gonna say the like, chaos yeah. comes free. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah that's, that's true. Yeah, yeah that's that's kind of included. Yeah. It's a perfect it, package. It's a value it was, really. <laughs> um normally i'm not big on that much chaos but this was amazing just what i needed <laughs> so uh we're gonna go in reverse order from when we started um outros and then uh gaming mag you're in the chat if anyone's coming up after us please let us know but otherwise we're gonna start with xander who are you what are you doing next where can we find you yes you can find me all over the internet at xanderific with two r's and one f um i stream here on twitch on my personal channel and some other channels playing some more DD. you can catch me on that bronze girls channel playing shikar on tuesday nights over on pixel circus for failed save on friday nights uh and on my own channel i'm playing through witcher 3 and um zelda so right now we're on majora's mask going through the whole thing yeah. it's been a lot of fun oh also recently you can catch me in a video game called void crisis uh, it's available oh, on Steam. Mm -hmm. It's a Japanese tower defense mecha game, and I am the English voice of Pied Piper. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah. Bronze. Hi, hello. I'm Jasmine, that bronze girl. Um, I stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash that bronze girl. I'm on Instagram. I'm on YouTube. I'm on all the other social media. Off and run. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I, yeah I, I recently wrapped the season of Dimension 20. Uh, Cough and run is the name of that season. Um, you can catch my work on Critical Role. I'm a world builder slash writer for Critical Role. And I'm the DM for Shikar, the game Xander's in. Tuesday nights. Oh, also, uh, I'm currently promoting pre-saves for a Kickstarter oh, yeah. project I'm doing right yes. now called Desi Quest. That's D-E-S-I-Q-U-E-S-T. It's been about two years in the making. It's an all South Asian, all Indian, Pakistani, beautiful diaspora, uh, high production value, actual play we're trying to bring to life. If you don't mind checking it out and pre-saving it, we're not even asking for money yet, just a pre-save. <laughs> Yes, and if you have a link, mm -hmm. yeah, um, put a link in awesome. the Zoom chat, and I will put it in um, in the Twitch chat, so I can share it. Eugenio. Hello, I'm Eugenio. I'm DM Jazzy Hands. You can find me on the internet at DM Jazzy Hands. Uh, what's going on? Rivals is on hiatus, uh, but I'm around on Monday evenings on the c &E, uh, Games Twitch channel uh, with our second series of Familiar Quest. Uh, Colonel Pest, the Aww. pest mascot worm druid, uh, has been transformed, and now it's worse. Now Aww. he's a Grimishka who is allergic to his own magic. It's fine. <laughs> Chaos is grand. Uh, the wonderful Latia Jaquise is our DM for this season. We've added Gabe, uh, Gabe James as part of our cast. Uh, and we still got, I think, one or two more weeks uh, of wonderful guest, uh, Hope Lavelle. So it's a it's fun time. Yay. That's Monday nights at eight. Uh, and we got I think seven more weeks of that coming up. Uh, and then I stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We're we're culting lambs like everybody else on Tuesdays <laughs> and screaming our way through Elden Ring on Thursdays. So <laughs> Love it. Yes, uh, I just dropped the link in the chat. Thank you. And uh, oh, my God, Brian, why you say anything? <laughs> You know, he's honestly, the wit at like, the end of the yeah. Yes, yeah, I'm featuring. the wit. I'm the featuring. Yes, no. <laughs> hi, hi. I'm Brian. I'm a Bohemian. I stream on Twitch. I am um just honored to have fun with these awesome folks. You can catch me uh Sundays and Saturdays and Tuesdays, and that's probably not in the right week order. So I'm sorry if that messed up anyone's brain. Uh, normally, you can also catch me on Rebels of Waterdeep, but we're on hiatus until October. Uh, there are some other things in play that you will need to keep an eye on my social media about. I can't really talk about yet, but I'm very excited to share with you once I can. And is that really it? I think so. Yeah, no, like I actually kind of have a light week. Next next month is my birthday. I'm going to be doing a whole charity fundraising thing all month and also maybe taking an actual break from no, things. I don't think I understand the word right. break, <laughs> but I probably will do that. Um, Let me know when you figure it out. Yeah. Help. Okay, you. Can you okay, yeah. Apparently, <laughs> apparently it's a thing that you take and you're not given. Um, yeah, I also had a recent viral that tweet that's doing numbers about like <laughs> worker rights and some weird shit like that. So yeah, next. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Since I was a terrible person and skipped you, <laughs> Eugenio, uh, next is Misty. 
Uh, hello, uh, I'm Missy, I'm twitch.tv slash imperial or imperial girl, G-R-R-L, everywhere else. Uh, I am currently training for a marathon, so it's all I talk about. I apologize. It's kind of mm -hmm. like CrossFit or veganism. <laughs> it's, my, it's my, sir, I mean, I've done kind of both so i can say that i guess i don't know whatever but this is my third marathon so i'm kind of used to it i know what kind of hellscape i'm in for um you can find me sewing on my channel i make a lot of things like this animal crossing bag which i have right here because it's sewing and it's not gaming so good. that looks so good right thank you thank you well because nobody people will be like sewing whatever because it's not like cult of the lamb which i am also playing it's, I'm fy everyone's playing it so bad it's so good <laughs> um i am um Subscribing to Brian's newsletter about taking a break, and I <laughs> <laughs> you just invented a new job for him. <laughs> did and I my uh, tabletop game, my my big one is on a break. We just finished our first season, and it's the first D and D game in literally forty years I have ever finished, like a like actual finished a campaign. So I'm very happy I've with that. that. That wasn't that wasn't a one shot. I've never finished an actual campaign. Oh wow! Everybody always is like, wow. Like they go away and it happens. It's fine. It happens to all of right? us. Yeah. So yeah, that's me. Uh, Milady Confetti. Uh, hi, I am Milady Confetti. I was Imani today. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and thank y'all for dealing with a newer player like me. <laughs> uh, you're great. Uh -oh. You are so fantastic. Oh my gosh. I love playing. See, all we all have been a new player. You're fantastic. Mm. And I I handpicked all of you to be at this table. <laughs> Uh, thank you for having me. Um, I stream Monday, Monday through Thursdays. Um, I am generally playing new games that are new to me. Um, so my new game to me recently is Stardew. So I am enjoying all of the um, madness that that is. Um, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. But it's been <laughs> a welcome interesting journey. It's a new I thought, job. <laughs> I thought it was about farming. Apparently, no, it, that is not what's going on there. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, next week I'll be playing um Super Mario Sunshine for the first time. Oh, I've never fun. played it. Oh, I, um, so I never owned a GameCube, so I never got a chance to play it. So now I'm going to get to play it on my Switch. So I'll be starting that next week. Oh, um, I'll be launching a podcast soon, and I have um some really cool announcements coming um within next week or the week after, depending on um my procrastination. <laughs> um, <laughs> that, that's a mood. Uh, yep. yeah, but um, yeah, I'm. It's pretty much all that I have going on right now that I am allowed to share. So. Uh, and I've been your DM, Tanya. I'm actually in New York. Clearly, I'm not at home. If you are in New York and come in FlameCon, I'm on a panel tomorrow about mental health and games. Um, that is 2.15 here at FlameCon. After that, I get home on Tuesday, and I'll be doing a sponsor stream on launch day of a title. I don't know if I can say what game it is, but just Tuesday evening, come to my channel. We'll be hanging out and having... Ridiculous, saintly good times, I shall say. Uh, um, oh. Thursday, uh, we are back at Black Dice Society. We are down to our last six episodes, period, of Black oh, Dice. Yeah. Oh. And, uh, oh, no, yeah. Yeah. And then when Rivals comes back, I'm in the DM's chair. Yeah. So yeah. in October, um, unfortunately, I'm not doing D&D in the castle. So I'll be right here in the U.S. I'm um, hoping to do some fun stuff. And then next week, you can actually, well, for next week, you can bid on a seat at Kelly the Opera Geek's table. I'll be one of the players. She is going to run Honey Heist, Sam DeLev. The voice of the Witcher, Doug Cockle, will be joining us. And, what a great table. Right? Oh goodness, Doug is amazing. amazing. Uh, and Kelly will be DMing, I think, for the first time ever. I'm not sure. So we're doing that. And I may, and I'll be in another game with Dr. B I'm in the DM seat on Friday. So all the D&D &D is in my future over the next two weeks. <laughs> and uh, you can find me everywhere at Cypher Tier. Thank you all so much for hanging out. And uh, un unless there's someone we can go raid, because I don't think I can make a raid, we're going to call it a night and go, go do stuff and hang out. Thank you so much. Thanks for helping us at the goal. Bye, y'all. We're all going to go Yay. play Call to the Lamb. Bye. Yes. Oh, that's 100%. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>